Okay, so I don't know why my mic keeps resetting itself, but I need to figure out why that is. But anyways, hello everyone. <laughs> Here I am being a bumbling mess. Um, hello, hello, hello. Anyways, I'm happy to be here. So, how's it going, everyone? Hope you're all doing well. So, this week has been a lot. Not, not for me personally, but just like what's going on with the world, right? Um, I've been watching a lot of like lengthy investigation videos and just like drama on the internet and just like you know just like like big figures that we know uh i guess influencers and then just kind of a lot of things happening around them or to them specifically so um it's kind of a big deal um uh the events I'm particularly talking about is if your name starts with Andrew, that's a problem. <laughs> um, but not only that, I've also been looking into Dungeons & Dragons news, uh, hearing about Wizards of the Coast creating their new, their new OGL agreement, 1.1, and that's been outrageous. Um, as well as um, I was just like looking into academia stuff. And so one of my favorite uh, YouTubers, Zoe B, she posted a video about uh, uh, academics, uh, particularly those who are non-tenure staff or faculty. So those are people who are essentially living like minimum wage or below minimum wage as professors, essentially. So it's like, it's ridiculous. Um, and so I've been like processing all of this information, right? Like, what, all right, what are we doing? What do we do? What do we do about this? Um, and it's a lot, it's a lot. Um, but I have a lot of ideas that I've been kind of, kind of sort of synthesizing in my head a little bit of like what's going on. Um, not, not that like all of those are all like connected uh, directly or anything, but um, I, I think there, there's a lot of information, right? The big the, the big thing is information, right? They're, they're, they're all information, and we all have to kind of figure out what's good and bad information. Um, and so it can be overwhelming trying to synthesize all this information all at once. And so the the important part is trying to figure out Okay, what can you do about it? Or like, what are ways of combating information that's bad, right? Um, and I don't mean like information that makes you sad. What I mean is like information that is misinformation. Um, uh, which can happen a lot on the internet. <laughs> um, and I think one of the things that I've kind of came to a conclusion to is that there's often times I run into a lot of people who think they know more than they do, right? Or they, they think they're smarter than they actually are. Um, that's a thing that I notice a lot. With like internet outrage and things like that, it's it's like people want to be above other people in some way, and so to do that, it's just like, oh, I just know more than you do, and therefore I'm better, um, which is like one of the problems that I see in a lot of people, um, especially Andrew Tate, <laughs> in particular. He does not hide that fact, but I think there's a lot of people who who are his followers, and then just other people who aren't even his followers, but they kind of secretly, like, believe in that, if that makes sense, right? Um, so how do we prevent that? How do we prevent people from sort of assuming they know things that they don't know anything about? Um, I mean, granted, you can't, you can't just teach people this, like, like, Sometimes they have to come to this conclusion themselves that, hey, maybe they actually don't know things that they thought they did. Um, and I think once they get to that point, it's quite a humbling experience. Um, 
even for myself, right? Um, I, I find it funny when a lot of people say I'm smart, but I'm just like, no, I don't, I don't think I'm smart. Um, it's just that, you know, I just like take in a lot of information and then just kind of absorb it and try to figure out what it means. And then I try to discuss it with other people, right? Um, I like sharing ideas. I like talking with other people just to make sure that I'm grounded, right? Um, and there's always this seed of doubt in my head where it's just like anything that I come up with in my head, it's not the most perfect idea ever. It's just, you know, it's the most amazing. What I like to do is I like to share it and validate if other people do agree with it. Um, I, I think that's one of the big things is making sure you share it with people and it's grounded and that you're able to facilitate a thought-provoking discussion where you can kind of look at the pros and flaws of like everything with your ideas um because uh yeah i think that's one of the things that is important to realize when you're kind of learning things in the world that you don't know everything there is to know and that's okay um but also don't assume that you do know all the things you know too like those things can change right uh, everything that i know now could change um is the thing and i have to be flexible with that idea um anyways moving on i'm gonna build some stuff and then i'm gonna continue talking about just like some ideas that i've been just kind of looking into and trying to understand like why are people this way what can we do about it? How do I insert my own experiences into this and how it kind of all relates to each other? I think we're kind of, I think this is a part of philosophy that like a lot of people need to get the bare essentials with, um, which is, you know, epistemology, Socratic wisdom, you know, how do we know the things that we know, right? Uh, I think that's a question that people should really consider. <laughs> Anyways, let's hope my Minecraft works. I don't know if the sounds are going to work, but let's go. Okay, there's no sounds, and I need to figure out why. <laughs> so one of the things I did notice is that if I have it in full screen, um, now... Let's see. So full screen for Pathfinder, it kind of set all the sounds in. But I don't know. Everything's in German. <laughs> so I know this is graphics. Um, servers, audio. Did multiplayer do anything with that? No. They're like how to play, help. These are the server settings. How? Granted, this is bedrock, so it's just like, I don't know if there's like a full screen option. Why the sounds aren't working the way as they do. Which I wonder if that's the case. Um, here, I'm going to try something really quick. And let's see if we can get sounds for the game working. <laughs> Got the two channel going. Go to advanced audio properties. Primary screen capture. Turn it off. So let's go to none really quick, right? Let's turn it on. Just to see what happens. Ooh. Yeah, I gotta get used to this setup. I'm trying to figure out if my mic quality is also okay. My mic quality is obviously better on my Windows machine, but the Linux machine, I kind of have a weird thing going on. Let me see if that's okay. But I don't know. Hmm. Okay. Uh, 
recovery. Yeah, I don't really have anything. My thing is, what about here? How about here? No? Nothing. Okay, whatever. I don't know. I'll just leave it here. You just listen to me talk. And then, I don't know. Minecraft is kind of weird because <laughs> I don't know how to get the sounds working. Even I can't hear it right now because I'm hearing through my second <laughs> streaming PC. Um. Anyways, what am I working on? So I'm working on the city. Oh, one of the things I want to do in the future is that I want to build a university campus over there one day. Um, hopefully I'll get there sooner than later. Because a university campus would be great. I want to teach people all sorts of things. Because I think pursuing knowledge is awesome. Um, now, I find it really interesting, right? Um... So a little background is that uh, for my college career, I went to community college first. The thing is, is that while I was going through high school and all my teachers were telling me, oh, I should go to a four year. I wasn't too sure. I wasn't too sure if I should go to a four year. Because um, a lot of a lot of them were saying it's a great idea. Right. And, you know, I understand where they're coming from. Um, but a part of me couldn't help but understand why is that the case, right? Now, there's nothing wrong with higher education. In fact, I think it's great. Um, but just as one of the things I wanted to highlight and understand was just how do we improve or how do we know the education we're getting is quality education, right? Um, and so that's one of the things I understood from high school was that I had good teachers and I had bad teachers, even through middle school as well. And so when I was going, trying to decide on what college to go to, I was a bit hesitant on, on that either. Cause it's like, I don't know. And here I am going to spend like so much money on tuition. Like, is this worth it? Um, and I decided not to. Even though, you know, I was I was told I should. I should go to a four-year because, you know, I have a lot of good ideas and that they would like me to build those connections and things like that. Um, but I wasn't quite comfortable with that idea yet. Because I just don't know, right? Uh, you know, you're just kind of... For me, I don't really like to follow the pack. Like, when, when I hear so many people just say, oh, just do it, right? Just do this thing. And I'm like, I don't know. I'm not too sure about it. Um, um, even my parents were, like, saying I should go to college, right? Um, everyone was like, you should go to college. Graduate with a degree. Um, and so it's like, okay, if I'm going to do that, I'm going to at least be conscious about how much I spend. So I decided to go to community college two years and I did really well um, and fortunately the community college I went to specialized into a field that I was interested in which was game development um, and so I had a lot of fun there um, granted you run into some weird people <laughs> but I mean uh, other than that that's fine <laughs> you kind of just like oh, okay cool nice knowing you <laughs> Um, but aside from that, it's still interesting, um, my experience at community college. Um, I, now reflecting on some of the experiences I had in community college, it makes sense, especially after watching that video of just like, you know, I would find professors or teachers that I had classes with go to many different schools. They had to teach at many different classes in many different areas. Um, and, you know, I was like, why? <laughs> that seems difficult. Um, I mean, if it was just two, maybe, but like 
some I feel like some of them had to go to like three or four different college campuses and teach at all of them. Um which is rough. Um because the community college I went to, uh which was uh RCC, um there was like three different campuses. Um all in different areas. And so I had professors who would actually have to go to like all three campuses and like teach at all of them. And it's not it's not some short drive. It's definitely like an hour and a half, <laughs> like or like at least an hour between each campus. So like that's a lot of driving time. Um, and then who knows where their home is? Because it's like they also have to drive home too. Um, and in fact, one of the professors, uh, there was a time where I took the school bus. Um, cause I didn't have my car, I didn't have a car at the time. Um, all I did was that I would bike to campus. And so I remember taking the school bus and then one of my professors was on there and it was interesting. <laughs> it was just like, oh, you take the bus too. Well, hello. Um, but now that I'm like processing it now, it's kind of like, wow. Um... We need to take better care of our professors <laughs> of academia because it's like what are we doing um gosh but yeah it, you know it, when i was younger i didn't even know what this meant right like i just remembered these things um but you know i never really looked too deeply into it because i was just like focused on like okay Finish your two years, get straight A's, then transfer to a four year, and then like graduate with a degree, and then you're you're done, right? Um, but you know that didn't change the fact that some classes were harder, more harder than necessary, or just like some of the curriculum was just kind of dated, right? And I was just like, whatever, right? Uh, I, I don't know. Um, you didn't really think too hard about it, but. Now reflecting on it, it, it really does change a lot. So I kind of want to further that discussion um, on just how important knowledge is in general and just the quality of education that we need and just the importance of um, how do we know the things that we know and then protecting people from misinformation because <laughs> that's that is a problem. Um, especially if these teachers are being pushed to their limits of like what they can and can't teach and then they're just kind of barely above the poverty line or just barely getting minimum wage it's like like how are they supposed to teach things properly um and now we have like free education right like youtubers influencers who are given this education for free um with some sprinkles of advertising to sort of like accommodate uh, i remember like hank green talking about this how like he had to create like the science channel and things like that on youtube to sort of fill in the gap for people's knowledge uh, on things uh, it's honestly a really strange thing uh, you would think public services would provide good quality education but like that's that's not the case here at least in the u.s <laughs> so it's like oh well, damn. We gotta change that. We gotta fix things. It's like, what do we do? <laughs> um, so yeah, I believe the paper was the American Association of University Professors, which was linked to. And it has a lot of good information and studies about just, you know, just, just the, uh, the working conditions of like most university professors. Um, that especially are non-tenure. So that's just like rough. Um, okay, I need to create shelves here. And the question is, let's use slabs. It, that'll be kind of a flat in-between color. So we'll have slabs. Um, the question is, okay, do we make it too thick? 
first three. You're dick. Hmm. Over here. This is where people are going to get their blocks. Uh, what are you doing here, skeleton? What are you doing here, skelly? Oh. Goodness. Goodness gracious. Um, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I've been thinking about this stuff a lot, though. I had a hard time sleeping last night because of just, like, I couldn't figure out, or I mean, I was just kind of thinking about these things, like, just processing it. Like, how did we get to this point? Because I don't know if we should have. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll put this here. I don't know if I'm decorating things. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. I think I know what's going on. Cool. We'll have the command blocks in the back behind it. So these are shelves, kind of like at Costco, you kind of just like, browse around. I think that's a good section to separate the blocks. Now here. Um... And it's just all one big floor. Have it there. That there. Place that there. Uh, let's see, that's six, seven. There we go. Now let's see. We'll do this. Do we want to do it that way? But technically, it can be a full. Yeah. Yeah, let's not worry about it too much there. Now let me get some sea lanterns. Lantern. Oh. Okay. Oh. Where did those blocks go to? It disappeared on me. So it's nice to place these. All right. So, continuing with academia and just like this cascading effect of just gaps in our knowledge. How do we fix it? Um, okay. So, I think one of the important things, right, is that people end up assuming they know a lot of things, right? And then given the age of information that we live in, it's kind of hard. Kind of hard to process all this information, and people are kind of just absorbing information really fast. And then there's there's barely much to do other than to double check it, right? To fact check it. Um, but then there are people who still don't know how to fact check things. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so one of the important things, I think, if someone takes a philosophy class, is that they should learn one of the original, like, Greek philosophers, Socrates, right? Uh, who was the teacher of Plato. And then Plato being the teacher of Aristotle. So these are, you know, the big three names of Western philosophy um, that people learn about, usually. Um, 
Now, historically, we don't know if Socrates is a real person, most likely, but there isn't, like, there's nothing, like, written down specifically saying that, like, you know, there's anything from his works. Um, it's just Plato who talks about so Socrates, his student, who talks about Socrates as if he exists. Um, so that's, that's, that's the only thing we can infer. Um, but regardless whether Socrates was real or not, Socrates has some interesting philosophy that I think is wise and important to learn from. Um, and one of the most famous quotes from his is that he knows that he knows nothing, right? Um, as that's true wisdom. Um, knowing that you know nothing. Um, which I think is an interesting line that more people should adhere to. Um, just because of the fact that we're surrounded by so much information. We, we, we like to think we know what we know and feel like as if that's safe, right? To make us feel grounded. Um, to feel secure. Um, to know that we know things. Um, uh, and I think that makes sense. Um, especially considering if you look at the history of humankind. Um, about the ways they would tell stories and like recall events and kind of like write down things. Um, even things like religion and so forth. Like why do they exist? Um, it's because they're there to fill in gaps of our knowledge. Um, so that we can feel like... Um, you know, if we if we know things, we have some sort of control over things, right? Uh, as that is, I think, the ultimate goal with knowledge, right? Or just knowing things. Knowing the, the fact that you're okay and that you're comfortable and that, like, nothing can go wrong, right? Um, other Because, you know, it's very instinctive, right? It's like, there's a bush and you don't know if, like, something's going to attack you out of that bush. Right, in the shadows or something, right? If you know that there's nothing behind that bush, you're safe, right? You feel comfortable knowing that, ah, oh, it's okay, right? I can pick some berries and I'll be alive. <laughs> so it's like, it's very instinctual, I think, to want to know things. Because, um, you know, even our eyes process information very rapidly. Um, um, is hearing things, seeing things, um, feeling things, just knowing that 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 is an option for you, you can feel comfortable. Um, um, but I think one of the big things is that people need to get familiar with is getting comfortable with the fact that that you can be uncomfortable and that's okay, right? Being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Um, and part of that idea belongs to this, is that knowing that you know nothing, right? Because, um, you know, it's like, you know, I, I hear this from people all the time. It's just like, oh, I'm so dumb. Like, you know, and it's like, that's a bad thing, right? But it's like, no. <laughs> Plus, I don't really think people are dumb. More like just people, you know, it's, it's okay to just not know things, right? And so the question is, you know, what can you do? To, what can you do about it? What can you learn, right? Uh, what can you change about it? Um, which I think is more proactive and a more healthier mindset than simply just accepting information for what it is, or just you know not knowing things and just kind of choosing not to know it um, and not even validating it, right? Um, so yeah, just a lot of, just something I've been thinking about a lot with just like how I process information and what that means for people. Um, yeah, I don't know, pretty tough stuff. Okay, I could put a block here, but if I do this... 
Yeah, people can clearly see it from there. They'll be able to see what's going on. Unless I make it go down. They won't know that. They won't know anything. <laughs> um... That's fine. Then we'll have another one up here. Cause these things are tall. Just a bunch of shelves. Um, okay, so with that... Yeah, there's gonna be like no light for people to like see from this. <laughs> <laughs> but that's fine. That's okay. I'll figure out something else with it. I don't know. Um, but better to just fill it in than not. Okay. Oh, I, yeah. Realize that was the thing right here. Okay. I don't know. We'll just see where this goes. Um, okay. Alright. And then I got a good idea of how these shelves are going to stack. They're going to be pretty high, even though most people are just going to be on the first floor and just kind of look around. Surely this is enough room for all the blocks, right? That players can get. I think that would... That would make sense. Um. Anyways. Yeah. So. Yeah. So I. I run into a lot of people who. who say they're dumb. And then there's also people who say that. You know. They're smarter than everyone else. Right. Um. And honestly. I really don't think. There's a huge difference in intelligence. Between like a lot of people. Because uh, I think, you know, the question is, like, what even is intelligent, right? Uh, like, is, like, there's discussions whether creativity is also a part of uh, intelligence as well, right? And, like, I'm not an artist. I don't consider myself an artist because I can't draw. I don't do knitting. I don't, <laughs> I mean, I cook if people consider that art. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's very limited. Um. Uh, um, and so for me, I think for them to understand how art works and to describe it in such a way, right? Like how there's different artistic styles and what they do about it is really intriguing to me. Because like some of it, it's like, I don't understand what they're talking about. <laughs> um, which is really cool, right? Um, the fact that I'm listening to people who know things that I don't know. Um, and it's very enlightening. Um, I appreciate it very much. Um, and that is a very humbling experience. Because, um, yeah, it's just nice. It's just nice that people um, sort of do these things. Um, uh, and that they're good at it. And then they're good at something that you're not. And that's okay. Um. Because, you know, diversity on them and all that. I think it's really neat. Um, hope making this into a giant Costco is going to be okay. Because, <laughs> like, I don't... Because it's like, how do you make a warehouse look nice? And it's like, you really don't. <laughs> Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so for my own experience, I I find it interesting when people call me smart, right? And I, I really don't think I'm that smart, um, which is funny, because, you know, people are like, no, you're lying. <laughs> or just like, no, you're definitely smart. And it's like, okay. But, you know, I don't... Like... 
like, okay, sure. I know a little more than... I know some things that some people don't know, or most people don't know about. Um, but that's just because they haven't learned it yet, right? Like, as soon as I start having that discussion with them, then I think they can get onto the same level as me, right? Of just, like, knowing things. Um, but I think a bigger deal is that me knowing the fact that they know things that I don't. Um, and that's a thing that I'm willing to accept. Um, and I think that is more interesting to me than me being smarter than other people. Just because if I start thinking I'm smarter than other people, then there's a problem there. The, the problem with that sort of thinking is that, um, you know, you, you start to get into this false idea that you're flawless. <laughs> like, oh, I'm impeccably smarter than everyone else. Therefore, I don't need to learn anything else from anyone else, right? Because I just know it already, right? And that's already pompous. That's quite incorrect. <laughs> that's a problem that I think people need to get out of their head right this instance. Um, um, like, you know, nothing infuriates people more than, like, when a non-expert talks about things that they have no bearing on adding into the discussion like at all right like if you caught if you talk to a quantum physicist um and like s some journalist who doesn't know anything about quantum theory starts you know rambling about what the ramifications of quantum theory is like quantum mechanics and whatnot like you're you're, <laughs> you're gonna make the experts pretty mad um because it's like that's there's a there's a lot that can go wrong there um Cause yeah, that's that's a big deal. I, I think to like, don't get me wrong. I I love learning about quantum mechanics and like, in philosophy, I like discussing like, I like knowing about these things because they're just super interesting and like kind of learning the ideas of it. Um, but I think you know it's safe to say that I'm just because I learned some ideas from it doesn't make me immediately an expert in that just I know everything there is about quantum mechanics and like quantum theory um, I just think it's just a cool concept to learn right and that my perception of it is willing to change uh, because I just you know I don't know I don't really know all of it, really. I don't know much of it either. Um, um, I think it would be nice to have like a real discussion. Like if there was actually someone who is a physicist and like knows about quantum mechanics and like their field specializes in that it'd be so amazing to just like ask questions right and just like just, just kind of take their knowledge so like tell me what you know right um because that'd just be fascinating um but even if i learn all that right that doesn't make me qualified <laughs> um because yeah like, what, what, what am I going to do with all that knowledge? Um, like, I'm not going to make a new discovery with it. Um, but I think one of the big things is that um, it does make me more informed, right? With, like, correct information. Um, and even if it is correct information, there's also other experts in the, within the same field who disagree with each other, right? Um... Uh, for example, like string theory versus uh, I forgot what the other theory was. Like, just what is the most uh, primitive element of the entire universe, right? Uh, there's still discussions on what that is because it's all theoretical and we just don't know. And so the scientists are going to continue arguing about that. Um, until we get the technology to actually figure out what that is. The the research, the science to really back all that up. 
Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm going on to this huge tangent here, just like, I don't know, just throwing word salads <laughs> about information that like, that is just like beyond uh, what most people would use in their day to day life. <laughs> so we're getting off track there. Um, so back to the idea that like we need to be very cognizant of the idea that we don't know. Um, so going back to Socrates as a philosophy, knowing that you don't know anything is a very important step, a very humbling step. Um, uh, now, there are people who disagree with it. Um, for example, like pragmatists, right? Um, which are more practical philosophers, right? Uh, you know, they don't really think too hard about things. <laughs> it's just like, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. That's pretty much how it works. Um, and that's valid. Um, but I think it still falls into the same idea of like, you know, if something wrong happens, then, you know, there's a mistake, right? Uh, you kind of have to know that um, it, it's okay to just not know. Uh, gosh, okay. I have so much information in my head that it's just like I'm trying to figure out like <laughs> how to put it all together. Uh, because, yeah, there's people who would say, like, you know, how do you, like, know things at all? Like, you know, just, like, what's the point of knowing that you don't know it? You know, that just sounds like an excuse um, to not pursue knowledge, I guess. But, I mean, that's not really the point, no, not at all. Um, uh, the point is for people to be wary of what sort of information they consume, right? Because, um, you know... Uh, people can be fallible. Even yourself, right? You're a person as well. So, like, we can't know everything there is to know at, at all. Um, that's a big deal. That's a very big deal. Actually, should I have this? No, that's not safe. Get rid of that. We don't want this falling on people. <laughs> While they're walking through Okay. Um. Light seems to go through those. Kind of new to me. Uh. Okay. So yeah. Um. Yeah, I think another part of it is that, like, when people call me smart, um, I don't, you know, I'm just like, oh, okay, that's nice. But also, like, I don't agree with you. Because <laughs> uh, I'm willing to doubt myself a lot. I have a lot of doubts. And I think doubts is okay. Um, one of the issues that I run into with some people is that they have no doubts for it. Right? They're not willing to question their own decisions, uh, which is a big problem. Uh, when people don't question their own decisions, right? Uh, how do they accept the consequences of their actions? Right? Like, how do they learn from that? Because um, I run into people. Who think they are smarter than they are when they're really not and so they kind of have this delusion that you know they're in the right mindset they're in the right idea that they know what they're doing when in reality they don't uh, uh, which is very dangerous i think that's a very dangerous perception to have uh, uh, just because, yeah, like, how how are 
How is that person supposed to figure out what they're doing wrong? How do they change, right? Um, and like that's one of the things is that if you if you aren't able to adapt and change, um, you're gonna be miserable. I feel. That's I, I feel like that's a, that's a thing that I'm noticing with a lot of people who, who do that. Um, cause they they fight so hard against it, right? Um, they want some semblance of control, and there's comfort in that. Um, and I see it with a lot of people, uh, including Andrew Tate, by the way. Because um, even he himself, I think... Uh, so, we all know how much of a misogynist he is, um, and how terrible <laughs> of a person he is, ruining a whole generation of kids with his I his ideology, his ideas of just grandeur and all that. Uh, very dangerous. Um, but I think there's also a side of him that like a lot of people don't realize as well, which is right. He's still human, right? And he makes himself not to be human, right? Which is which is weird. Um, right? Like he tries to make himself like a machine some sort of alpha male who has no feelings, right? Like, it's... That's ridiculous. That's some bullshit. Uh, now, obviously, if there's something, like, you know, wrong with the psyche, then sure. Uh, but... Usually, that's pretty rare. I think one of the issues is that, you know, how does someone go into that sort of path? Right? Like, how do they make these decisions that are just so abhorrent? Um, that, you know, it's it's an atrocity to mankind. Um, and so, you know, I think one of the things is that I remember another video from Zoe B where she discussed a comic series written by this person. Um, which I find very ironic because he says he doesn't need books because he's too smart for them. <laughs> Which is like what he literally said on his webpage or something. Um, oh, hi, Legend. Good to see you. Hi, hi. Hope you're doing well. How's how's your weekend starting? Um, did you get your iPad, uh, iPad or whatever yet? Because I don't know if that already shipped. Um. Because I remember that's what we last talked about. At least on the server, anyways. How are you doing, Legend? How's it going? You think it arrives today or tomorrow? Ooh. Again, let me know how it works. Because, like, I never heard of that uh, shipping company or whatever. They, they refurbish a bunch of items and stuff. So, um, so it's nice to reduce e-waste that way, right? Because... Apple has a, an egregious reputation of just, you know, just like, oh, your iPhone doesn't work? Just get a new one. <laughs> Which is what their CEO literally said. Like, at a convention or something. It was, like, ridiculous. Like, oh, your, your iPhone doesn't work? Well, just get a new iPhone. Hey, like, <laughs> don't worry about it. Like, what the fuck? Which it's, jeez, it's ridiculous. The amount of consumerism is just Ridiculous. Ridiculous. That's another thing. Some of these CEOs who think they know everything, they really need to get off their high horse. Elon. <laughs> That's so much money wasted. Exactly. So much money wasted. And do you know why he said that? Because the CEO knows that Apple is a company that has shareholders and investors so he knows what he's doing he's definitely he definitely knows who's he's who he is serving and that is his board members the board partners who own the company which are the investors and so that makes them very happy because it fills in their pockets <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so much e-waste, it's ridiculous. That's a problem. Um, 
gosh. Ridiculous. So upsetting. Anyways, moving on though. That, that's a whole different topic. <laughs> uh... Okay, so where do I where do I go from? Okay. Um. Gosh, I need to recall where I even was talking before we went onto that whole tangent. Um, oh yeah, 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 I was talking about, like, Andrew Tate and, like, you know, just, like, he makes himself not to be human, right? Like, he, he tries to make himself this invincible person that's totally, that has, like, no vulnerabilities, that it, you know, that doesn't have any weaknesses, which I think is just, like, absurd, right? Because um, I think real strong people know their weaknesses, right? Um, you know, they turn those weaknesses into a strength, right? Um, I think that's a thing that we should really enforce more. Like, really make that a priority. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of people who are like, oh, I'm so bad at math, or like, you know, I suck at math, I'm not great at it, right? Um, but then, you know, you hear stories of people who, like, you know, math is not their forte, but they still study it anyways, and, like, after like 10 years of just like really grinding through it they they finally know it right they finally master it and then they just end up being a better mathematician than most other people um, because they know what it's like to be bad at math and so because they have it, that experience of like knowing how bad at math they are they actually end up becoming better mathematicians than people who are already good at math and then just you know they kind of fall off because they uh, they fall under that umbrella of like oh because they know they're smart they don't need to listen to anyone else because you know they're the smart one so then they they just stop learning right i think falling into that mindset of thinking you're smarter than everyone definitely makes you fall behind um it definitely makes you um you know, less knowledgeable about things than you thought you did, right? Um, oh, speaking of which, there's also this funny story of, like, a cybersecurity person who has his own company, right? And, like, you know, uh, he was trying to he was trying to investigate Anonymous, right? The hacker group, the Anonymous hacker group. And, like, you know, he thought he was so good at cybersecurity that he could catch these guys better than anyone else, right? And the the funny thing is that he <laughs> once you figure out his methodology of how he was trying to ha find these hackers, it was a complete flop. Like he didn't know what he was doing, right? Even though he thought he knew, he was so good at it, right? He was like, "Oh man, I'm going to catch the world by storm and arrest these people." And, like, you know, the FBI contacted him, and, like, he just inflated his ego, saying, like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna catch these anonymous hackers, and, like, you know, like, get them out. But, like, he just got owned. Like, he got wrecked. Like, he <laughs> he had no information on these guys whatsoever. Like, everything he had on them was just completely wrong, right? When he was so sure he had it, but he was what he was not even close. Um, so, anyways, what he was doing was that he was going into these hacker discussion groups, um, where there were, like, fans, right? A bunch of fans who would, like, follow Anonymous and stuff, and, like, who would, like, root for them. And there was, like, thousands of people, like, in these chat rooms, right? Just talking. And so what he would do <laughs> is that he would see when these people would come online and go offline, right? He would... He would write down the time dates and he would try to correlate that information to people who log on to Facebook at the same time, right? Like, as soon as they log off the chat room and, and, and these, like, you know, forums and stuff like that, if he saw that they went online on Facebook, he would then deduce, like, oh, okay, this Facebook person 
is the same person as this person who just logged off the chat. <laughs> like, that was his methodology. Which is like, if you think about it, there's all sorts of problems with that sort of thinking. Um, again, correlation does not mean uh, causation, right? That's, that's a thing you learn in basic science. Correlation does not mean causation. Um, and he correlated information, right, where it just so happened that people who logged out this chat group, there just happened to be a chance of people logging on their Facebook, right, like, at the same time, right? Like, that's, that's the thing that happens. Did you miss me getting 200 followers? Um, uh, I, this was like a while back, Riku, I, I could have sworn we had the, this discussion. <laughs> Anyways, it's good to see you, Riku. How's it going? Hello, hello. Um. Anyways, yeah, it's 200 followers. It's no big deal, though. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm just kind of, you know, I'm just kind of see where things go, right? Just figuring out my style. Cause you saw that I have 210. Yeah, yeah, it's like it's slowly growing, right? It's. You know, it's moving on. <laughs> um. Yeah, what's up, Riku? Um, what should I make the floor here? So it shouldn't be iron blocks. Do I make it like cement? It could make it cement. Yeah, let's make it cement. Let's make it like light gray. Yeah, we can probably make it light gray. Make it some light gray. Yeah, let's break all this. How are you doing, Riku? It's good to see you. How, how are you? Um. Yeah, so like yesterday, or even just like this week in general, like I've been, ex I've been absorbing a lot of information, Riku. Like, um. Riku, let me ask you a question. How am I doing? I'm doing all right. I'm doing pretty good, I'd say. Um, like, I had a hard time sleeping last night because I absorbed so much information. I was trying to process it. And so today, I'm kind of spilling over today because this is, you know, these are the, the thoughts in my head that I've, like, come to, right? And so I'm just, like, going to say them out here right now, right? Um, Riku, let me ask you a question. Do you think I'm smart? <laughs> there goes Legend saying, yeah. Because, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, like, an actual question that, like... You know, I find it funny when people say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> I find it funny when people say that. Like, it, it, you, you know, I don't think I'm that smart, right? Which is funny, right? Because when people say I'm smart and I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not really smart. Um, uh, I, I don't know. I really don't think I'm that smart. Um, and it's not because I have some sort of, like, inferiority complex or something. Uh, it's just that, like, I think for me, if I accept I'm smart, that's where I start to become dumb. <laughs> you measure smartness of how fast and good people can learn things. I see... For me, I have a different quality of, like, of what I think smart, uh, is. Um, and I honestly think anyone can be smart. Yes, don't you start with me. I don't understand half the crap that leaves my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but Legend, I don't mind explaining it, right? If there's something you don't understand, just ask, right? There's nothing wrong with that. Um... Because, like, if there's something I don't understand, I'll be like, Huh? Uh, could you explain what that means to me? <laughs> like, like I don't, I don't understand what that means. Could you explain it properly? And you're smart because you understand. Okay. <laughs> I do my best to understand things. Um, but, you know, just because I understand doesn't mean I, I can confidently say I know 100% for sure. Right? Um. Um, I think there's a good balance of, like, uh, what do you call it? There's a good balance of knowing that you might be wrong about things, um, and just, like, being okay with that, right? Yeah, no one can know 100%, right? Um, but I think it's the fact that you acknowledge that you don't know 100% is, like, I think the good thing, right? Um, because as long as you have that like one percent of doubt, of skepticism, I think that's healthy. I personally think that's healthy. You try to go as close as you can possibly to it, right? Exactly. You can try to get as close as you can to knowing things one hundred percent, but you'll never get one hundred percent, right? Um, I think is I think that's the big deal. I think I think that's the important thing that people need to understand that like it's it's important to get as close as you can to it but like you'll never know exactly right you 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 will never know with 100% certainty um, that that is the case and as long as you're willing to accept that and change your mind about things I think you're going to be a better person for uh, you're going to be immediately better than most people would consider themselves. Um, should I put this here? I can leave that there for right now. Actually, I know what I can do. I'll put this here. Yeah, so it can light things up. Um, but yeah. Yeah, I think it's a it's a thing that I'm noticing now. Is that, yeah, just people who think they're smart aren't really that smart. Because, <laughs> um, yeah, uh, if you start thinking that way, how are you ever going to learn, right? Because I think when, as soon as you admit that you're smart, you kind of give up on learning. Um, uh, I think that's the thing that I see people who end up uh having inflated egos kind of do um for example andrew tate right andrew t andrew tate thinks he's super smart but here he is caught by the romanian police in jail what what can you do right <laughs> what, what are you gonna do um i think he's an idiot for being in jail but you know whatever <laughs> But yeah, misogynist, asshole, he's a punk. <laughs> he deserves time, though. That's for sure. Um. Well, that's because he's still under custody, though. Um, he's not necessarily, like... The thing is, there's no indictment yet. Um... Because they still need to go through the court case with him. Um, and not only that, because he's an American citizen, uh, apparently we have... Uh, we have, like, some government agency here in the United States that protects people if they're an American citizen and if they're in a foreign court. Which is, like, ridiculous. Um, Uh, let's see. People called SWAT on him and said that he had people in his house against their will. Yeah, exactly. That's that's the human trafficking part, right? That that is like very clear. Um, 
And you know the weirdest thing is, is that he like completely admits to it, right? He's not hiding that fact. He's just like, yeah, I kidnap people. <laughs> like, he, 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 like what? What? Is ridiculous, absolutely absurd. Um, like I mean, nice. I'm glad he's admitting to that, but like, he says it in a way that's like. He doesn't feel guilty, right? And I think that's the huge problem. Yeah, I did see that kind of prank. Um, which is why I'm very careful about my address. Um, this is why the server for the Minecraft server is hosted on a, a different... Um, uh, it, it's, it's on a cloud hosting uh, server right so it's not like at my house right so like people can't raid me because of that <laughs> and besides me living in america i know how dangerous that is <laughs> it's like a pretty big deal see i'm glad i take precautions right so it's just like i'm not <laughs> Yeah, I'm very careful about that kind of stuff. Anyways. Yeah, anyways, back to the discussion though. I again, it's it's these people though. I I run into a lot of people though who think they're smarter than they actually are and they're really not. Right? Um and then even for myself, right, like, I don't, I don't want to think of myself as smart either, like, ever. Ever. Because I always want to learn things. I always want to know that it's okay to not know things, and that that's normal. I think learning should be a normal thing that people should do in their daily lives. Because as soon as you stop learning, you're just gonna not be, you know... You're just not going to be good at retaining information <laughs> anymore. You're just not going to have any sort sense of, like, groundedness in the world. Um, but yeah. Moving on, though. Moving on. Again, we got to be careful of people who think they're smarter than they actually are. Because they, they get these egos, right? Which is not completely true. They they start to not listen anymore. Um, the only thing you say you you say is that you have to have is that you need to have a high IQ because that's a fact on paper which doctors made. But you're not saying that's smart because of it. I mean that's hard to say, right? I I don't even think that's completely correct either, right? Um, like sure, it's nice to have a high IQ as a as a indication of some form of intelligence, right? The issue, though, is that intelligence comes in many different forms, right? Uh, with high Q, it's mostly just um, it's mostly just like being able to recall facts and information, right? Um, like how much how how much things do you know? Um, yeah. That I understand. I'm not saying you're not, like, I'm not saying you're dumb because of it. Of course, you're, you know. I believe you know things, Riku. Like, this is why we're having this conversation. Um, um, but the thing is, is that that's not even the, that's not the 100% thing that makes people smart, right? Which is what we agree on. Um, I think there's also many other things that make a person smart that we need to accept. Right? Um, for example, you know, I think artists are smart too. Um, people who are good at art, I think they're smart, right? Um, even though there's people, you know, I, I run into a lot of artists who are just like, nah, I I'm dumb. I can't do math. I can't do programming. I can't do science, right? Um, but like, I, you know, that, that just because you don't know those things means you're dumb, 
right? <laughs> but you know art, right? You know how to do art. And that's intelligence, right? That's you have a skill and that requires intelligence. Like that's that's something. Um that's something to appreciate, right? That's something respectable. That's something that I have no knowledge of. IQ is just a measure of how much your brain is capable of doing. Um Yeah. There there are people who are very capable of doing lots of things. But, you know, they just don't use it. <laughs> so therefore they could just be dumb, right? Just like because of that. <laughs> Cause they don't they refuse to use their brain. Right? Um just because you have a high IQ doesn't mean like you're gonna use it. <laughs> um But yeah, you know, what does that say for people who have lower IQs but they do more with it, right? Like you know. Again, intelligence is relative. Oh. And so that that I think that's a big thing that people need to understand. Oh. Otherwise, how else are they going to get better? They're never going to improve. They're never going to learn. They're never going to change. Right? And that's a big deal. That's a big deal. That's that's the important thing I want to say here. Um, is that knowing that you don't know anything, right? Um, cause yeah, that's just, that's just something that I see a lot. Um, so many people who are like, oh yeah, I know everything. And then <laughs> they just, you know, uh, they end up failing miserably, I think, in the case. Okay. Um, but yeah. Again, moving on. I don't think I'm smart. Even though, like, you know. Sure. Like, okay, I've taken AP courses. Like, I've taken... You know, I've gotten straight A's before and stuff. I've been in, like, the, uh... Pentathlon and so forth. But even those things don't really... Make me feel special. Right? Like I'm, I'm, I'm not, I'm not trying to learn things to feel special or be anything special. I'm just learning things because um, I simply just want to change as a person. Right? I simply want to get better. Um, um, and I think that's a thing that people just aren't willing to do a lot of the times. Cause yeah, I've you know. I'm looking at a lot of relationships now, and now that I'm realizing this is the case, if I start to talk to people and they're not willing to change and improve and do better, um, then, you know, they're just doing themselves a disservice. Um, like, they, they start to become difficult to tolerate. Because <laughs> it's like, how do they learn from their own mistakes? And they don't. <laughs> You have to learn from your own mistakes. Um, Cause yeah, the superiority complexes are just you know they don't work in anyone's favor. They really don't. <laughs> they don't improve anything. You can't grow when you don't make mistakes. Exactly. It's so fundamental and basic, right? Like, everyone should know this. Um, but for some reason, some people don't learn from their mistakes. Um, and that's a big problem, you know? How are people supposed to change their circumstances if they're not willing to admit to that? Let's see, what do I do here for lighting? I know I can build this here. Mm. No, that's okay. 
I'll just leave that there for right now. I'll, I'll, I'll figure out what that is. Anyways, yeah, yeah, it's a big deal. I think, uh, yeah, I think when people don't realize their mistakes, they really can't, they really can't do anything from there. They're, they're just stuck. They just end up being stuck and lost forever. Oh, um, and I used to be, you know, I used to be there. It's the same thing with trees. A tree is stronger when it was outside, got hurt multiple times by storms, than a tree inside that never got hurt. That's true. That's true. The roots for the trees outside, like they they last a lot longer. Um, Cause yeah, you see some of these trees get struck by lightning and stuff. They deal with like forest fires and whatnot. Um, they do end up lasting a lot longer. Um, like those, those, those resistant forces, those are things, you, you know, you just have to go through in life. Um, so, you know, if you, if you just feel like you're dumb at something, then, you know, that's just something you just got to work on. Right? Um, it's not easy. Of course, it's never easy. Um. But like, you know, that's how you stay miserable, though, is, is if you don't pursue it, right? If you don't improve. Because um, it's very easy to be miserable. <laughs> it's very easy to be miserable. Um, it's a lot tougher to be happier and to be okay with just like, you know, just accepting responsibility and just, you know, learning things as you go. Um, and that you're willing to pivot and change your ideas. Um, yeah. That's a big deal. Let's see, do I put this here? I can put that there. Yeah, let's just put a pillar here. Why not? I need more lighting though. How do I do that? Um, I need, I need to decorate this. How should I decorate this? I'm not even too sure either. Riku, do you think this is enough blocks for all the things? Like, there's going to be, like, command blocks, like, behind the blocks that people can ask for. Probably put, like, a sign on each of these. Hmm. Guess it's enough. Yeah. I mean, they're not really gonna press buttons up here either. I mean, they could maybe, but. Yeah, there's just a lot of blocks, right? So we just kinda have to figure out how to organize it. Um. How do I want to separate these files? Not okay? I don't know, I'm just kind of seeing where this goes. So that leads there directly, so that's kind of nice. We could technically put blocks in the center of these as well, right? So that's kind of a big deal. I 
If this ends up fitting, I'm going to be amazed. Uh, not right there. Right there. Okay, we're going to put in this right here. You know how cute this would be? It's almost like a oh, its own like shopping district, right? <laughs> like this thing right here. Uh, this warehouse. It's like a place where people can like go shopping. <laughs> I can't wait for people to start using this place and like start buying blocks here. It's just like, oh, I'm just gonna go to the grocery store and like pick up some blocks for dinner. Like... <laughs> That's going to be amazing. I like the idea of it a lot. Um, should we do it that way? I don't know. Yeah, I guess we'll do it this way, because why not? Yeah, we'll do it this way. I think this is okay. And then I'll put stairs around these. Not around, but I'll replace the edges with the stairs. And then I'll make it look pretty. Nice and pretty. Make it look nice and pretty. Um... Oh yeah, Riku, how's my mic quality? I realized I was, like, too loud in, like, previous streams. Um... Which I think this should be okay now, right? At least I hope so. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too quiet. I mean, you've been able to hear me thus far, so I'm not really too worried, but... Yeah. I think before it used to be a little, like, unbearable. It's just like, my mic sounds good? Okay. I know my mic sounds better on my main computer, but... No. What you gotta do... Kind of what I'm living with. Hmm. I can go with andesite, or I can go with this. Ah, let's go with andesite. Make it look a little fancy. Yeah, I hope this ends up being okay. But yeah, I can have like a block on the edge here. You're so sleepy? Riku, when did you sleep? <laughs> Riku, this is like the afternoon for you. What was it? It's 10.36 right now, so you're 9 hours ahead. It's only 7.36 p.m. What are you doing? <laughs> you can fall asleep in like 3 more hours, bro. <laughs> you're awake for 16 hours? What are you doing? Stay awake for like three more hours so you can get a like normal sleep schedule. <laughs> ridiculous. So ridiculous. Come on. Come on. Okay, and then I'll put some lights in the middle of these tapes so that that'll be better. Yeah, I should make things nice. Yeah, that's super nice. I like that. Shh. 
should I make a freezer sh section and then put like ice in there? That'd, that'd be funny. It'd really feel like a Costco now at that point. <laughs> you had your first driving class today and you concentrated so much that in these 60 minutes you lost all your brain. <laughs> yeah, I think you're concentrating too much. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's good that you're studying, right? It's just like... I think it's okay to kind of relax a bit, right? Because um, one of the things is that, like, when you're learning about driving... Well, I know in Germany it's a lot harder, right? They're, they're, they're a lot more difficult with their licenses. So I, I can understand the, the stress of like having to pass it right away um, that I understand um, but but I still think there's a concern regarding um, what do you call it just like you're trying to cram too much right like the thing is if you end up cramming too much you're gonna end up forgetting some important information um, Again, I think, right, like, if you don't get it the first try, that's fine, <laughs> right? Like, that, that that's the thing, that's the thing you want to relax about, right? Um, like, sure, it would make your life so much easier to just, like, pass the test the first time, right? But if you start thinking about it in the way of just, like, you know what, it's okay if I don't get it this time, you'll get it another time eventually, right? you'll start to relax and you start not trying to push yourself over the edge, right? Of just like trying to understand something that is just difficult. Um, uh, because, you know, you're, you're expecting too much out of yourself, right? Um, I think it's best to take it slow and just kind of, you know, relax about it, right? The more relaxed you are about it, you're going to do way better. I promise you. <laughs> um, this goes for like a lot of other things too, right? Just like, uh, um, I mean, me, when I drive, I'm relaxed, right? Like, I, I find it funny when I first started driving. I used to be really stressed out. I'm not going to lie. Like when I first started driving, I was really stressed out about like everything. Right? It's just like, how do I deal with all these drivers? How do I deal with all these people who just like don't don't follow the, you know, the rules of driving? How do you deal with all these bad drivers? Right? Like, how do you deal with people who just like aren't paying attention? Right? Like, there's just like so many things going on in my head where it's just like, oh man, I don't know this street. Like, I don't know what's around the corner. Oh, I have to be at the speed limit. Like, right? Like, my mind was like just rapidly like... You know, it just has all this information just constantly up its, like, brain. In my head that I was just trying to keep track of. Um, but, I, you know, I'm I'm now at this point where it's like, I don't... Like, oh, okay, sure. Like, sure, there are some drivers who are just like, oh, man, that's, that's stupid. Why would you do that? Um, but you have to relax, right? You just have to. Um... Because I guarantee you, the more you relax about it, the more you're going to get it. I, I promise, right? Like, you know, you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I got that wrong. That's okay, right? Like, I'll get it next time, right? It's it's no big deal. It's no big deal. The less of a big deal you make it, the easier it is to learn, believe it or not. Um. Uh. Uh, because it makes you much more flexible, right? It makes you much more open to information. Uh, you're more willing to accept information uh, easier that way. Because, yeah, you know, just being stressed about things and then, like, focusing really hard on it, you end up doing the opposite um, of what you're trying to do, right? <laughs> um, uh, and it's what I see in a lot of people. Right? Like, people who want to be, like, valedictorians, who want to get, like, 4.0s, straight A's, like, all the time. Right? Like, 
you're you're gonna do yourself a disservice that way. Um, granted, there are people who push really hard and do get it, but you know, at what cost, right? At what expense? Um, I find the people who are more relaxed about it do tend to get it much more easier than people who don't, right? For example, like the straight A's that I got, um, uh, especially in community college, I didn't stress out about anything. <laughs> in community college, I didn't stress a lot. Um, and then there's people around me who were like so stressed and then they get so upset when they get like a B or like a B plus. And, uh, you know, and you know, that sucks, right? Like you, you've been working so hard and then, you know, and then there's me, right? Who's just like, I, I didn't do anything. I just kind of did it and here I am, <laughs> you know, like, I, like I wasn't even trying. Um, but like that's that's the thing though is that you have to relax. I mean that isn't to say I didn't try. I did study, you know. I did like you know, I did put in time, but I didn't make it into such a big deal that my goal was to pass with a straight A's. Like I, I wasn't even trying to pass a straight A's. For me, it was just kind of just like, all right, you know, this is what it is. What can I do, right? Um. Because, yeah, I think having goals, like, having goals to try to self-validate yourself is, you know, that's that's going to create a, what do you call it? I can't think of the word or the phrase. Self-fulfilling prophecy of you just, like, ending up being the exact thing that you don't want to be, right? Like, you're going to end up failing yourself because of that. Right, because you're trying so hard that you end up failing anyways, and then that's just gonna make the feeling much more worse. Therefore, it's going to reinforce the idea that you're just incapable, right? That you can't do what you thought you were like, like you can't do what you thought you were good at, um, and so forth. And that's 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 a problem. You can't be doing that. Um. You know, just kind of accept things as it is. It's just like, oh, well, I got this wrong. That's okay, right? That doesn't make you any less or more of a person, right? From that thing. It just happened, right? And so it's just like, okay, what can you do about it now? That is what it is. What can you do to change it? Right? Uh, so yeah, just relax. Take it easy. Don't... Because, <laughs> yeah, the more you keep pushing for it, and I know you really want that driver's license, but the thing is, if you end up failing the driver's license and you're too attached to it, it's going to be harder the next time you try to, like, pass it, right? Because you're going to be too focused on your failures, and you're not going to be focused on the things that you know you're good at, and that, you know, that you can just be comfortable with. Um uh, Cause yeah, like that's the thing. You just you just gotta have those nerves out. Um. Anyways, that's 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 the thing. <laughs> Not what I want. Now I can have command blocks and stuff. Like that. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Maybe. Oh, I can make it carpet. Carpet would. Carpet's okay. Could it be carpet? I have no idea. I think the colors of the carpet can make a difference. So here is going to be like copper and iron. Yeah, copper and iron. So copper is like orange. And then iron is going to be like a light gray. 
there. This is copper. Um, and then, yeah, light gray for iron. Alright, we'll put the iron here. Make this iron, and then we'll make gold yellow. And we can add emeralds. Emeralds for green. Here's lime. And then we have diamonds and netherite. Diamonds are gonna be light blue. Netherite is the Yeah. You can have it be full gray maybe, but Nether right. Mm. No, that's okay. There your mom walked in. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, no big deal. What did you miss? Not too much. I'm just kind of organizing color palettes. Right? It's like, oh, this is copper. This is iron. Gold. Emerald. Diamond. Yeah, the right. Right? It's kind of like organizing things a little bit. Um, yeah. Yeah, this should be fine. Hopefully people notice that. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. I don't know. Isn't dark gray better for netherite? I could do dark gray. Black is cool. Yeah. I was thinking dark gray, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, this is light gray. This is the iron for sure. Um. Well, it's the tier list, Riku. This is why I have the colors the way they're organized as they are. Right? Because there's six of them. The six tier lists. Copper, iron... Uh, gold, emerald, uh, diamond, and then netherite, right? Um, that's how people know what they're getting. I guess we can make it dark gray. Yeah, dark gray is not too bad. So the issue is that, like, this is all gray, right? So it's like... I feel like having it be black would make it very distinguished. But I think it's okay. No big deal. It feels like I'm at Costco here. I'm not going to. It, 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 it feels like a Costco. Feels like a giant grocery warehouse. That's okay. But yeah, that was my intention here, and it, it seems to be paying off. Um, let's fill this in. what I want to do not too sure why is there two times iron because there just happened to be seven of them um I mean I'll probably change it a little bit I might have two copper instead we'll see um but it depends on the amount of blocks right that we have um Actually, now I think about it, copper actually has more blocks. Uh, maybe we might need it 
need it to be copper. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. Because it's a lot of wood, right? This this area is going to be wood. So there's... I might use, like, the second floor as well for the different types of wood. Because there, there's a lot. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll kind of figure it out as we go. And this leads to this floor. So this is the stairs that leads up here. Gotcha. Cool. All okay, right, we'll fill this in. Hmm. All right. Go and fill this in. Oh yeah, Riku. Have you uh came up with a design plan for your spleef arena yet? Because uh, I do want to get the command blocks working for it uh, as soon as I, as soon as possible. I want to mess with the command blocks more, but, um, you know, I won't be able to do that unless I know the dimensions of your build. <laughs> Have you started on it yet? Oh. Because I do want to know the location, too. Like, if you can show me where you're going to build it as well, I can sort of kind of plan for it. Oh. Like, do you know how many floors there's going to be? Is there going to be like 25 floors? You know the surrounding, but you don't know how to build the ring where the people fight. Uh, I can build the ring if you want me to. Uh, the question is like, uh, you know, what, what, what does it look like? <laughs> Like, are you g able to give me a diagram? Like, a picture? You know, because I draw stuff all the time. Like, whenever I do programming, right, I'm always drawing stuff, right? Like, I'm always figuring out, like, you know, I'm, I'm doing, like, math and stuff, numbers, like, like, I'm, I'm figuring out what patterns I can do when I program. Um, so, you know, Give me, like, something <laughs> so I can, like, help. Because, um, like, I don't want it to take too long. I want the mini game to work as soon as possible. If we can get the mini game to work, like, that's cool, right? It gives people something to do. Um, Cause, yeah, I want the server to be pretty active, right? And so I have, like, lots of ideas in my head that I want to try out, but we kind of have to see where it goes. But we can't do that without the builds. And you're a builder, Riku. <laughs> we need you as a builder. Um, and don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm doing my best building here as well, but... Um, I'm doing a lot of technical stuff as well. So, you know... The builds won't mean anything unless I'm able to, like, kind of make it turn into something. Uh, so for this, right, people are going to trade emeralds here for their blocks. Um, uh, not yet, obviously, because they still need to turn in blocks. You said counter. Um, so I'm going to create a scoreboard for that for the entire server. So, so everyone's going to see that, which is cool. You plan to build the floors in a dome, and farther down they go, that's where it gets more intense, the fights, because they have more space than before. Oh, gotcha. Oh, okay, so it's a dome. Okay, that's... Hmm. Alright, that's... Alright, that's a little tricky. A little tricky. 
Um. All right, so Riku. So one of the things with the command blocks, right? Um, is that making circles is not easy because <laughs> we're playing Minecraft. Everything's a block. <laughs> um. Now for the mini games, that's okay. We just need to figure out. Actually, I think I have an idea that can work. I have an idea that can work, but you're going to have to place barrier blocks. You're going to have to use barrier blocks to make it squares. So for example, here, let me, let me, let me show you. Okay. So here we have a circle here, right? So let's just pretend this is a circle, right? So if I use a command block, right, um, what is it called? A schnee? <laughs> schnee? Schnee? Okay, so if I use a command block, how it's going to work is that it's going to turn the entire floor into snow, right? So it's going to fill all the empty air spaces with snow, right? Um, but the issue is that these corners also have snow right and if you're making a dome this isn't gonna fly right to see snow outside of a dome is gonna look ridiculous so what you're gonna have to do is that you're gonna place barrier blocks in these corners so that the snow doesn't go outside the dome right that makes sense same for here, we could put the snow here, and then we have barrier blocks here. Right? Is there a command that saves blocks and place them back? Uh, there is... Uh, there is an option for that. Um, but... It's a little more complicated. Um, because the thing is, you need to have the build exist... Before you place it. Um... And the problem is that you're, we're going to be destroying the map, right? Like, people are going to break the snow blocks. And we can't, we can't save that, right? If we save that, then it's, it's going to respawn with broken blocks, which, you know, that's not going to fly. Um, what we need to do is keep track of every floor, right? So if you tell me how many floors there are, I can then create that many blocks to take care of that, right? Um. That will be easy. It's just like copy paste. Um, I could essentially make that a for loop. Um, I mean, you don't program, so you're not going to know what a for loop is. But um, a for loop is significantly easier than having a, a copy of a build that we need to keep a copy of, right? Like we need it to exist in the world, not broken. And then we copy and paste that world. Um, um, but not only that, that's more expensive, though. Um, could I tell you how big to build the dome? Um, I, I told you, three trunks, right? Three by three trunks. So a chunk is um, 16 by 16. So if it's a three by three chunk, it's going to be 48 by 48 max. Um, uh, again, with mobile players, I don't want it to be... What do you call it? Uh, too too much for them to load in, right? Um, they can load in up to like eight chunks, but we have to remember that there might be people with with poorer form, phones who can only load up to like three chunks or something, right? And so a three by three is easier. So forty eight by forty eight is what you're doing. That that's what I told you. A three by three chunk, forty eight by forty eight blocks. Um. So yeah, that should be easier for people to load in. Um, and then the games can be quick and easy. Um, now, your dome idea is interesting. 
But the issue is that I don't know if I can see the dome fitting in. Well, I mean, a 48 by 48 isn't too bad, but... Um... There are concerns with it in terms of, like, balance, right? Like, how is that going to work balance-wise? Um, and then not only that, like, is that too much work? Or should we just make it like this, right? Should we just make it like a tall tower like this? Because Spleef is mostly like this, right? It's mostly just like a down downward slope like this. You know, each floor can be just like a bunch of snow, right? Um, that just makes it easy, right? This right here is easier to make than the dome. Um, uh, the only reason I went with the domes, right, is because we're in space, right? Oh, you plan on building it uh, at the end? Oh, okay, that makes sense. I'm um, sure, yeah, yeah, that works. Um... Uh, don't forget, at the bottom of Spleef, though, there's lava, right? Because that's how people die. Because um, if you do it at the end, right, like, how are you going to place the lava, um, is my question. Because um, people have to fall. Because when they fall down, they're out. Oh, okay, so it's just like an, a void, an empty void, is what you're saying. So they don't fall in lava and die, they just kind of fall to the abyss. Is, is what you're thinking? You just let them fall? <laughs> so ridiculous. Okay, maybe. I, I mean, I might allow that. Uh, but, you know, I just worry about whether if that's, like, too much time or something. I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I mean, you figure it out, right? We'll, we'll see what happens when we test it out. Um... So I'm willing to try this idea out and see what happens, right? Um, but traditionally, I'm used to people like just falling in lava. Um, is what I'm used to. Because um, it's just quick and dirty, right? They fall in lava and then they just die. <laughs> and then as soon as they die, then I can figure out like, okay, this is what we do. I can have command blocks ready for that. Um... Uh, Um, but yeah, that should be interesting. Oh, uh, you wanted it to fit the space theme? Okay, yeah, 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 that makes sense. Totally cool with that. Totally fine with that. Um, give me a quartz block. Quartz block. Quartz block. There you go. Thick. All right, let me go ahead and fill that in here. Oops. There you go, that's way better. Okay. Um, anyways, yeah, I'm okay with that if you want to do that upside down dome. Um, and then they just kind of fall into the abyss. Um, you just have to remember, though, that they do fall into the abyss, right? My only concern is, like, if people land on the sides and then they don't fall down, right? Like, we need to make sure people actually fall down, right? Otherwise, if they're on the edge and they never fall down, then, you know, the game's gonna go forever. <laughs> so we need to make sure they're, you know, when they're out, they're out. <laughs> <laughs> like you can't you can't land on the side of a block and be like oh I'm safe right you can't just land here and be like I'm fine um let's see yeah this is okay I'm okay with this this is fine to me oh I should do the floors the floors can be like copper do this yeah this looks good 
But people know this is copper. People will know. So people know that's copper. Here I'll get iron. Throw that in right here. And then we can have gold. Maybe the. Yeah, we'll have two irons, I guess. Over there can be gold. You're tired? I know, Riku. You gotta stay up for like a couple more hours. Why do you have such a messed up sleep schedule, Dad? <laughs> you have like the worst sleep schedule I know of anyone else. Like it's so bad. Like Riku, how do you, how do you live? <laughs> All right. Good night, Riku. I appreciate you stopping by though. But you exist. <laughs> oh yeah, you do have it worse than Legend though. That's for sure. What is up with you? Y'all y'all gotta fix your schedules. <laughs> Granted, like, I don't know how I do it, but I managed to be okay with like what do you call it? Like six hours of sleep. <laughs> like, that's okay to me, which is wild. I'm okay with like six hours of sleep. Or even five hours of sleep. Give me five hours of sleep and like I'll be up. <laughs> slept real good last night that's good glad to hear that you slept good at least <laughs> yeah right Riku 17 hours no he did not sleep good at all what are you talking about you're ridiculous well you slept nine hours <laughs> Here, I'll take this part. The gold can have those shells over there. Emerald's a bit squeezed in here. I have the gold kind of fill this in here. And then we'll have diamond over here. <laughs> Left nine hours? Jeez. Y'all sleep so long. Granted, I do take naps every now and then. Um, naps are very helpful. Alright, good night, Riku. You take care now. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Go to bed. This is ridiculous. Let's see. Ah, print. <laughs> You are the most ridiculous staff members I have, I swear. <laughs> hmm. Speaking of which, I already want, like, so I'm thinking about trying, like, a peanut butter uh, cookie dough. Don't scream at me. Regular good night is enough. <laughs> ridiculous. So ridiculous. Good night, Riku. Sleep well. <laughs> I don't know why you do this to yourself. <laughs> uh Ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous. Oh, 
All right. Yeah, the copper blocks are waxed. Mm -hmm. I made sure they're waxed. Because, uh, yeah, I don't want them turning green. <laughs> so you don't need to worry about that, fortunately. That's okay. Have that go there. I think having these sections. I think. Hopefully. Yeah, this is okay though. I'm okay with this. Hopefully this makes sense to a lot of people. Should I make it like this? Should I have it just be like a regular full box? I think if I make it a full block, it'll be in the spirit of what it's supposed to be. I'll do this. Alright. Yeah, we'll do it this way. Also, I... Uh, this let's see you knew i knew that you were ridiculous your fir your first time meeting me was talking about anime and ramen that's true but in fact we were talking about let me recall we were talking about anime and ramen but we were talking specifically about i remember we talked about religion see um we did talk about religion i'm trying to remember what aspect of it um like i remember we were talking about identity i think is the thing like i i think i remember talking about like teleportation and how that would work and it's just like how can that be really you you teleport somewhere like if you're if your body is like destroyed and then recreated somewhere if ramen was in every anime. I don't remember why we started talking about that, but I do remember the more philosophical question. The deeper questions of like, you know, are you really you after a teleportation? Like, how would actual teleportation work? I remember we had that discussion when we first met. Uh, and that was on stream. That was pretty fun. That was a fun conversation. I don't know if you understood any of that, <laughs> but that's what it is. And then I think we also talked about religion. Um, as a, I remember at that point you were like talking to me about something. Ooh, check out the package. I kind of want to know what it is. Okay, so this is decorated. That's nice. I'll go ahead and get some stairs up here. Fill that in and then we'll have like some glass. Question is, what kind of glass? Think of this glass. Staring outside like a stalker. <laughs> that being a weirdo. <laughs> Just talk to the mailman. <laughs> Just be a person, will you? <laughs> like, hey, can I have my package, please? <laughs> yeah, sure, sign this. <laughs> Just talk to the person, please. <laughs> okay. Um... So this is going to be a stair. So how to do this? Kind of have it be like this. I think it's okay to put it there, right? Why? 
Because <laughs> it's the responsible thing to do, Legend. <laughs> Please go talk to the mailman. Like a normal person. Please just be an, ad an adult. <laughs> Tomorrow for sure. <laughs> so was it your package or was it not? Oh, that doesn't work. I'm going to have to figure out a new way. Maybe somewhere like there. I don't know if that works though. We can put it right here. Tomorrow for sure? Okay. Sounds good. Yeah, hopefully this retailer is a bit better. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. You have to stare this way. So let's have it be... Get like an andesite block here. It's kind of at the top here. Get a little of that. Although you should imagine shipping takes a while. You didn't ask for a tracking number. Um, I mean it's your girlfriend who has the tracking number, right? Like, do you know how they're delivering it? Is it UPS or FedEx? I mean, those are valid questions. Here, let's just fill it all the way to the top here. Why not? Oh, girl! There we go. Yeah, they can go up to the higher floors if they want. I don't know if people should, like, take ladders or push buttons up here. Maybe. I think having two layers is fine. And then the top can be a bunch of stuff. It says there's one day shipping, FedEx two day shipping, and express shipping on their website. But everyone who's ordered them got it through FedEx. FedEx isn't too bad. The only issue with FedEx is that you might have to sign it, right? You, like, you just have to. They won't give it to you unless someone is there to sign it. So, if you're not there to sign it, too bad. <laughs> I had that happen for, like, one of the cameras that I had to get. Because, um, like, you know, it was, it was, like, a full, like, five days that, like, it arrived, but, like, I just wasn't home. <laughs> You have an eight hour shift tomorrow, your mom better be here. Oof. Yeah, that's not convenient. Someone better be there. <laughs> Cause yeah, they're they're not just gonna give an iPad to anyone. They're definitely gonna want a signature. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's gonna be a pretty big deal. Uh um, Yeah. That's not too fun. Here, I'll put these here. Because I can't. Are these the ones that I want to place though? Maybe. Huzzah! Place that there and here. Time to find food. Food sounds good. Uh, I mean, I'm not like super hungry yet. But I know after the stream, I'm going to be, like, hungry. But in the meantime, I could eat, like, a cookie dough bar. I want to try the peanut butter one. But I don't know if I should go with the chocolate chip peanut butter or just regular peanut butter. Now, granted, I had a chocolate chip cookie dough one yesterday. You want one? 
They're so they're pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with. Them. Um, and the serving size is pretty good. If you want, I don't I don't mind giving you an Amazon uh code to get 15% off <laughs> if you're going to order it through Amazon. I'll give it to you. Um Cuz yeah. Uh, though it can only give you one flavor box. It's not like you can get a variety pack. So you're going to have to pick one. And like that's pretty tough. Like I don't know which one you'd pick. Um, so there's peanut butter chocolate chip. Peanut butter. Um, ah. There's sugar, sugar cookie dough. There's sprinkle sugar cookie dough. So... Two sugar cookie doughs, one with sprinkles, one without. And then there's a regular chocolate chip cookie dough. You want the sprinkle one? Yeah, so, like, you're going to have to buy one of the packs. So if this is the one you want, you're just going to have to buy a box of these. <laughs> um, but yeah. I can get you the 15% order code for it if you order it through Amazon. <laughs> but I want to try the peanut butter one. Yeah, I definitely want a peanut butter one. I'm going to try a peanut butter one. You'd, you'd have the box all of two seconds and your dad would eat them all. <laughs> well, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't can't have other people eating your food like that. But here's the thing. Just tell them it's vegan, and then they won't eat it. <laughs> I guarantee you. Oh, it's just like, yeah, it's vegan. <laughs> because if they're that repulsed by it, then it's like, you know, that's an even better reason to be vegan, so that they won't stop, they will stop eating your food. <laughs> They might try it. <laughs> they might try it. That's funny. I mean, I'm I'm okay with people trying vegan food. I think more people should try vegan food. Oh. <laughs> but we'll see if they, uh, you know. We'll see if. Hold on, hold on. Give me a moment. Okay, sorry about it, dude. And someone knock on my door. They like it, then they will eat all of it. I did something. You sure? Yeah. Someone was like knocking on my door. And it was, you know. Frankie, what are you doing? Um. Anyways. Yeah. All good. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm not doing anything on the top here. I can't really think to do anything at the top here. Uh, here, though, I can do stuff. Let's make it into, like, a concrete floor here. A more solid. Okay. So after I fill this in, I'll probably have, like, a peanut butter bar. Just chat some more. Um... Okay, so, so I was talking about like so Socrates and Socratic wisdom of like, how do we like knowing that you know nothing and how that's a very powerful thing to know in this day and age with the age of information because of the internet and everything and how much hype people have about things. I think it's very important to 
take a step back and say, you know what? Maybe that's not what it is, right? Like, uh, I think one of the important aspects of Socratic wisdom, of knowing that you know nothing, is that you're willing to listen to people. Because uh, I think that's a hard skill people don't really understand or don't really know how to do is that, like, how do you listen to someone? Um, and, like, there, there's people who are really bad listeners. <laughs> and part of that problem is that, uh, sure, they're listening, but they're not clarifying anything, right? Um, I think with Socrates, um, one of the most important things you can do is ask why, right? Like, you know how those kids keep pestering you? It's just like, oh, why is the sky blue? And then, you know, and, you know, you're just like, I don't know, something to do with, like, you know, various gases in the air, forming clouds and stuff. And then they just keep going, like, why? It's just like, I don't know, gases are just kind of like, they just obey the laws of physics. It's just like, oh, why? Right? And so, like, you just keep going down this rabbit hole, right? Just continuously asking the question, why? Um, but as annoying as that can get, it's actually not bad to ask why. Um, just because you're actually listening, right? Like, as long as you're not just saying it, and then you're not listening afterwards, and then you're just saying it just because it's like, you know just because you're just being a punk, but uh, the important aspect is that you ask a question clarifying what you don't understand, right? What you don't know. Um, so, for example, if you don't understand half the things that I'm saying, Legend, just, be, just ask, like, okay, I heard you say this. I don't understand what this means, right? Or I don't understand what this thing is. Like, like, if I'm talking about quantum mechanics, and you're just like, what is quantum mechanics? Then it's like, oh, okay, let me teach you what quantum mechanics is. At least from what I know, right? And so you become an active listener rather than, rather than just a passive listener. Because you're asking questions, right? By asking questions, you're, you're not only just facilitating the discussion, but you're also filling in gaps in your knowledge that you don't understand. And so you're willing to learn new things that you just don't know about. So you just have a better idea of what I'm trying to say. Um, so, again, with Socratic wisdom, knowing that you know nothing, and by asking other people by what they mean, and clarifying with questions, is a very important tool in understanding yourself and others. And it just makes you a better listener. It just makes you someone who's more well-informed. Um, it just makes you someone who is not going to jump to conclusions and make assumptions. Right? Which is a problem a lot of people have. Because they watch one YouTube video and then it's like, okay, I know everything. <laughs> and it's just like, hold on. Hold on. You need to talk to some people to verify if that's actually true. <laughs> to make sure, like, is that really right? Um, like, have an active discussion about it, right? Really ask questions and really, like, dig deep. Right? And that's a thing that scares a lot of people. Because it's like, what if I ask a dumb question? Or, you know, what if the other person thinks I'm stupid? Well, one, that's their problem. Like, if they're gonna, if they're gonna be the one to think you're stupid, then they're stupid. Um, but, you know, if you're willing to ask those questions and put yourself out there, there's nothing to lose, right? You only have something to gain by asking those questions. Um, so don't be afraid to ask those questions. Um, so one of the things that I'm not sure of that I'm planning to do hopefully soon, or I don't know, at least this year, is that I want to do a charity stream. Um, but the thing is, I don't know how to make my charity stream special. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to ask other people who have done a charity stream and see how they do it, right? So that I can get a better idea of how to do it 
in a way that makes sense and you know is hopefully you know a great experience for everyone involved um so that's something i'm looking forward to that's something i'm gonna have to work on and like ask um and see if that's gonna be something that i can do this year and then that will hopefully work out um because i do want to support my local animal sanctuary that i currently volunteer at because like I don't know, I want to help them out in some way, shape, or form. Uh, if not, like, I might do some other content there. Because it's like, you know, animals. Like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like grooming goats and stuff, and it's like adorable. It's great. Um, it makes me so happy. <laughs> um, but, you know. Itty, itty, itty. Okay, so in here, we're probably going to have, like, trolleys or something that just, like, have a bunch of, that have, like, wheels and just have a bunch of stuff carrying on. So, so we can have the wheels be, like, these. So we'll do this, and then we'll put a bunch of boxes, like crates. That's what we want to do. Yeah, we'll have it be like this. And then I can put a bunch of signs all around it. And then we can put chess. That's chess. They call it. I don't know what chess are. Have some barrels and foss. Roll him. Roll. So let's make these some barrels. This is a chest. This is a chest. And then we put a bunch of signs around this. Uh. I forgot what signs we called. <laughs> hmm. Cube. 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 Guess. Wait. Uh. Is that what I should use? Use a different color. What? Something like that. That there, put that there. I'll put another bucket there. Or barrel. Bucket. Put this here. That there. Nice. That there. And then we'll make this be like a little stair thing. So then it's like a little pulley thingy. Yes. Maybe? Yeah, we'll just have it be like that. We'll have like a... Something on the back here to just kind of put a bunch of crates on. Um, get the sea lanterns because it's dark. Yeah, 
Yeah, we need these to be platform. Right there. Here we can have some crate. There, right there, and then chests scattered around. Put it here. There you go. Okay. Now we'll just put this around. I want to put it in like nets. It would be like really cool, but. Eh, it'll be okay. All right. I'm gonna put that down. That down. There you go. I should put something on the top. I'm not sure what. Maybe some of these trapdoors, maybe. They remind me of graham crackers. <laughs> I just see chocolate. It looks so good. Yeah, I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna have to start eating my bars soon. <laughs> my cookie dough bars. Um, get some iron bars here. Yeah, that looks, that looks super serious. That's cool. Um, and then we'll have a bunch of chests over here. True. Okay. Bro. Okay. Yeah, we can do stuff like that. Nice. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Looks fine to me. We just have like a bunch of boxes in here, just kind of stacked. So that we get a bunch of deliveries. Now let's make it barrel. Can we make one for food? Because you're going to have an abundance. Make what for food? I'm confused by what you're asking. What do you mean, can we make one for food? Like, what, what, where do we be making food exactly? Um, as in a build, or? 
in context of Minecraft or real life? <laughs> Give me context here, Legend. See? See how I don't know what you're asking? So I'm gonna ask a question. So it's like, okay, what do you what do you mean by that? What what are you trying to say? <laughs> what are you asking exactly? So that I may understand what you are requesting. <laughs> Okay. Like in the warehouse right now, it's like for like 10k copper, iron, etc. But can we get something for bringing in an abundance of food? <laughs> oh, I see. Oh, I see what you're asking now. Okay, that makes. See, that's a totally different question, right? That's a, that's a that's totally different from what you're like saying, right? Can we make one for food? Cause I'm gonna have an abundance. I'm just like, okay, what do you mean make one for food? <laughs> like, does that mean like you want cooking or? <laughs> so I'm glad you clarified. I'm glad I asked that question because I had no idea what you're asking. Okay. Um. Thing is, what would we have for food though? Um. The closest thing I could think of is that you would be able to trade food for emeralds, right? But here's the thing. You can already do that with villagers, legend. Like, you can already trade food with villagers. Um, like, sure, there's some RNG with that, but, like, you just need farmers. Like, farmers will trade food for emeralds like no problem like <laughs> like it's already like in the game if that makes sense um i think to create another system for like donating food for emeralds is like a kind of redundant i guess um and not only that i think that's more for the players who've been on the server longer right like if you've been on the server longer and you have your own village that already has maxed out villagers that can trade food for emeralds like you're already in business right like you already have sustainability um versus for new players like they don't you know like all they have is mini games and mining right um and then they don't have those villagers yet unless you decide to open that publicly right for them to be able to do that um i think for me i'd rather let player agency handle the economy right um the economy i want it to be done by the players themselves um, now obviously that sounds hypocritical since i'm doing this part for the for the economy so to speak um but i want the server to be a building server right it's an smp and i want I want people to build things, so I kind of want to facilitate that, which is why I have this as an option. Um, and it gives players a goal, right? So I'm going to create a scoreboard. Um, objectives. Add. Yeah, so I'm going to create a scoreboard so that pl pl players can see it. Um, it'll tell you, like, oh, how much copper we have, how much iron, gold. Um, and it's going to show up on everyone's screen. Everyone's going to see it. I feel like with food, it's not, like, it's not a goal. It's just kind of like, well, we all need food. We kind of just need to eat it to survive. <laughs> um... That isn't to say, you know, you can't have a shop, right? You can sell food to people for emerald. Um, 
But I think, uh, you know, if you can have villagers that do that for you, I think that's fine. Like, if it's already in the game, you can just do it that way. Um, what we don't have the game is, you know, I'm not just going to give people creative mode. <laughs> what I'm going to do is give people ways to buy blocks so that, you know, there's progress at a faster rate. But there's an incentive to play mini games as well. The mini games give you emeralds, which then you can use those emeralds to then buy blocks, right? And then same for like trading with the villagers. You can then, you know, trade food for emeralds with those villagers, and then you can then buy blocks that way too. That's what you right? So like what I'm trying to do is like give players agency choices right like if they don't want to play mini games they can still get emeralds in different ways right there's more than one way to get emeralds. Uh, but you don't need me to have you trade food for emeralds. you can already do that with villagers does that make sense um that's that's an avenue you might want to consider uh, if you want to take advantage of that right like if you're going to take advantage of food production uh get villagers uh, that's that's what I've got to tell you. <laughs> um, I don't think you need me to create this system for trading food for emeralds. Because, uh, yeah, that's... You don't want emeralds. But that's the entire economy, Legend. Like, that's that's how you're going to buy blocks, is with emeralds. That's... that's, And it makes the most sense. Uh, the villagers already accept emeralds as payment anyway. Um, it's best to work with the game than fight against it. Does that make sense? Um, like, I'm not gonna... It's still an SMP server at the end of the day, and so we're still gonna accept the SMP elements of that, which is you can trade with villagers, right? That's that's a component of the survival aspect. So that's something we're gonna have to, like, you know, put in there. Now, if this was Java Minecraft, and you if you had a PC and I could create my own mods, then sure, yeah, we can make it whatever we want. Um, but this is Bedrock. I'm trying to make it accessible to everyone. I'm trying to make this, you know, a, a game for everyone, right? As, as big of as big of a community as I can build it for. So th this is what I'm thinking, and right? th this is my plans. Um, um, and I think it makes sense. I think it makes sense. Now, I, you know, you could tell me if it doesn't make sense. If it doesn't, then, you know, give me your arguments. I'm willing to listen, right? <laughs> um, like, if you don't like emeralds, well, what would you like to have instead? <laughs> right? Let's let's make that a discussion. Make it, make it productive, right? Maybe there's something I'm missing or that I don't understand, right? Um, so I gave you my perspective. I don't know if there's a reason why you don't want emeralds. Like, but what do you want exactly? <laughs> and why, right? Like, what, what's the problem? <laughs> Alright. Now this looks good. Yeah, we'll have it like this. Have a bunch of chests, and then yeah, people can just put a bunch of stores here. And then they have, if they have the sufficient amount of emeralds, then they can trade it for various blocks. That will be super cool. Oh, does at s work now? That's the thing I wanted to ask. Because um, for the longest time, man. I don't know if the slash s works, but shine, shine shalta. Okay, so we'll do this, um, and then we'll give at s. Uh, diamond, pop. right? Does it work? Yeah. 
Good one. Give. That's Gower. One. So that gives me one. Like, no problem. If I do this, it doesn't really do anything, does it? Doesn't require redstone. Or it requires redstone. Well, the, the stone button kind of gives it that, so... Yeah, at S just doesn't work, does it? Main is equal to dusk hour. How about that? Yeah, <laughs> that doesn't help either. Yeah, at S just doesn't work, does it? That's a problem. <laughs> Louise. Okay. Eh, that's fine. I have a system that's gonna work for all of these, though. And it'll be nice. Okay, I need to figure out what kind of blocks they're going to be. And whether there's enough of them to, like, organize all of it. Alright. So what did I do for the tier system? So we have wood, leaves... Gotcha. Oh. We have all kinds of wood blocks now. This is nine different wood blocks. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of different kinds of wood blocks. Yeah, then you can see it like okay. It doesn't really matter. for back here. Yeah, people aren't really gonna notice this right here anyways. Yay! This is gonna be good. Pretty happy with the ecosystem that I'm gonna be making. And it'll incentivize people a lot. There'll be something in the making, and it'll be amazing. Cause yeah, it's, trying to incentivize people is a really hard thing to do. <laughs> um, but fortunately, me as a game de developer, game designer, one who has studied human psychology, <laughs> I think I have a good idea on how to facilitate one that hopefully uh, gives reason for players to do things that they need to. 
Because, yeah, player retention's pretty difficult. Uh, so that's, that's hopefully something I can solve with it. But it should be good. But yeah, the economy will be going. We'll have mini games that feed into that economy. Players will have incentives to build and, you know, to participate. I'm hoping for anyways. Hopefully that works out. Be good though. Put that in there. Put these here. And then put this away. Here. There you go. Looks good to me. Now this is six blocks. So we can have the normal looking blocks. Bottom, right? All right, go ahead and clear our inventory. There's a lot to, uh, so let's grab all of these. Oh, so much inventory space. So we'll have the wood blocks start right here. There we go. Easy. Um, and then we'll have Bears. Do we need slabs? Yeah. Need slabs for sure. So you have wood, leaves, flowers, dyed wools, sandstones, mushroom blocks, glasses, and copper blocks. Oh, that's a lot. Maybe the copper blocks? Well, actually it would make sense to have those copper blocks. <laughs> people could use them for building. Alright. Alright, let's put these away. Let's have stairs on top there. So let's have all the different kinds of stairs. Oh, I need a button. <laughs> they need to press a button. Welp. Yeah, there's not a button they can press here for me. Unless I put it underneath it. If I put it underneath it, then it's a problem. Probably what I'm gonna have to do. Yeah, if I put a button in there, that's not really gonna work. <laughs> place that there, place that there. Break that, place that there. And then we'll do this. And th that will work. What's up, Legend? What are you thinking? Um, I'll put some slabs up on top. So we'll have this, this, this. This, 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 and these two. Imagine having all this flexibility. I'm throwing leaves. Is there a lot of leaves? There's that many leaves. There are, well, there are nine kinds of leaves. Quite a bit. I should have these woods. Oh.
Having these kinds of logs would actually be a big deal. Because you can't get these pieces of logs. I mean, other than these two, you can get them. Place it here. Whoop. Nothing. Just making a potato ques quesadilla. Ooh. That sounds good. Oh gosh, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Make me hungry. I want food. <laughs> Can't do this to me. That's enough. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I don't think this is enough. Oh. Uh oh. So I was just kind of making it, but we'll... right, here's what we're gonna do. We'll put this here. Oh, the skeleton that's on fire. Good to see you. And what about the mushroom blocks? I can put the mushroom blocks next. Mushroom blocks not go here. Whoa! Mushroom blocks. What are the mushroom blocks. Do they exist? Can you take a picture of your potato quesadilla? I'm kind of... <laughs> it sounds so good. <laughs> potatoes. Potatoes are so good. Oh, potatoes are so tasty. Dang it. <laughs> I'm already thinking about food. Too early. I can't. I usually don't eat breakfast. But, you know, thinking about it is just... I want, I want food. I'm gonna eat this real soon. Peanut butter cookie dough. The vegan peanut butter cookie dough. I'm just gonna have it. <laughs> Once I can find the mushroom blocks. Which, you know, they should be here somewhere, right? I'm not... There we go. Go into... What are they called? Here, Pins? So let's do here. Here we go. Mushroom block. It's not a glamorous plate. You never post. You don't post that much in the cooking and baking channel. I feel like you should. <laughs> you should just like do it. Like put it in there. Here we got these four. Place them here. Oh, gee. So many years. Someone's asking for a good P PSAT score. I don't. It's been so long since I took like a an SAT or a PSAT. I don't even. Remember. Um, I know the PSAT is a totally different scoring system than the SAT.
Um. All right. What what other blocks did I have? We had dyed wools. Well, let's not forget that. Let's not forget the sandstones either. So this one's 16, so we can have all the wools here. Maybe we we'll just make carpet with it, like no big deal. Put it here, put it right there, here. Heck yeah. Where is the carpet? You have an SAT score? Um, I'm trying to remember even what my SAT score. I, I actually don't remember. Because <laughs> I remember I had to take it in order to go to college. Um, but you know, I ended up in community college anyways because I wasn't sure. I felt about it. Let's see. Are those the same block? No way. That's impossible. Is and put this here. There you go. Now they exist. Okay. Uh, your SAT score was 1160, you believe? I'm trying to remember what mine was. The max is 1600, right? That is the max. I recall. I think 1600 is the max. It's, I don't know. I don't remember. I mean, that's fair. I don't really remember mine, so it's just... <laughs> but 1600 is max. Am I correct about that or am I wrong? Yeah, I, I do remember the SAT is going up to 1000. I don't know if it can go up to 2,000. I'm pretty sure it's 1,600, but that's that's where like my memory fails me. <laughs> okay, we don't have sandstone blocks, so we're gonna have to figure out what section we want to do for the sandstone. Actually, we might just make this top floor here all sandstone, now that I think about it. We probably need to start utilizing a lot more of the space. Break all these. Yeah, that's wild. Right, here's the sandstones. This, 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 and this. Have sandstone, and then let's just get regular sand. Okay, just regular sand. Super useful. And then get me some red sand here. Here. And that should be good. 
And then we'll need the stairs and slabs. Also, what I forgot. <laughs> That's not gonna work, is it? Did I have it just be blocks and then people kind of turn them into whatever they need? That's a lot of pricing. That's a lot of items to price. Now that I'm like looking at this. Like, geez, do I know what I'm doing? <laughs> I have no idea. It might be easier just to make it regular blocks. Or just like, we'll kind of figure out what they want to do from there. Yeah, because it's much more efficient to get these logs, and then you kind of just replace it. You turn it into the blocks you actually need, right? Hmm. That's something I'm going to have to think about. Hey, Hastrat, good to see you. How's it going, Hastrat? You've been sending me a lot of invitations. Even while I'm sleeping. And I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, it's not like I'm on Minecraft 24-7. But how are you doing, Hastrat? How's it going? Good to see you. Your lighting is terrible. What do you mean, Legend? What do you mean your lighting is terrible? What do you need lighting for? See how I ask questions? <laughs> what exactly are you trying to say? <laughs> your food. Oh! For your food. Oh, gotcha. Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. That makes sense. It still looks good. Is that ketchup or is that salsa? What is that? Let's see. Seems like that I like creative. So you're wondering if I could help you with your build. Um, I'll give you some tips. Um... But, you know, I'm not just gonna, like, you know, go to someone else's build and just kind of add on to it. Um, because I'm usually busy. That looks so good. That looks so good. <laughs> but if you want, uh, if you build on here, I can give you tips. Right? I can give you an idea of what to do. <laughs> um, because I usually like working with people... Uh, rather than just kind of just doing it for them, if that makes sense. Um, because I'm more of a collaborative type of person. Um, usually I like having input and then making some adjustments based on that. Please, you can use the P word and that's fine. I appreciate your respect. <laughs> I appreciate you asking. Um, that's true. The server itself isn't creative. But that's because I'm making the starter area, right? Uh, this is the introduction area, the starter area. This is going to be the community center. So this one, I kind of want it up and running as quickly as possible. Um, it's it's more of a, you know... Uh, this is where, like, server events will be hosted, too, right? This is kind of a, an important thing to make, so I kind of want to build it as quickly as possible. Um... It's not your typical SMP server, but the thing is, when I, you know, when I do switch into survival, like, I'm, I'm not doing any creative stuff. Like, I'm not doing any of that. Um, um, besides, I want the SMP server to also be more of a building server, right? It's a building SMP server, so that's, that's the idea. With minigames, which is going to be fun. So that's going to be really cool. Hey, you joined, Hamstrat. Good. Glad to see you joined. Um, it's so good. <laughs> that does look so good. I'm hungry. You're getting me hungry. Like, 
Uh, uh, potatoes are life. Potatoes love. Potatoes life. Anyone who don't who doesn't like potatoes, like, I feel sorry. <laughs> like, how do you not like potatoes? How do you live? How do you live without potatoes? I I can't. I can't imagine living without potatoes. That's like a ridiculous life. Oh, you see skeletons. <laughs> Okay, where even are you, dinner bone? You're still underground. Oh, well, that's your fault. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how strat. You're gonna have to like figure that out. <laughs> You had to make it with leftovers, actually. That's what makes it more surprising. Oh, really? Oh, wow. No, it's not daytime right now, half strat. <laughs> it's definitely nighttime. <laughs> you need to get to your, your house. Yes, you do. Preferably, you should. <laughs> um, anyways, I'm gonna take a moment here maybe I'll adjust some of the tier lists because it's not set in stone right it's just kind of an idea that I have um, to have all this uh, laid out the way it is um, hmm Alright, I'm gonna just like sit right here and just kind of soak it in. <laughs> See what we can do here. I can have the glass colors here, no problem. Having the glass here would actually make some. Let's put the glass there. You had some loaded tater tots and it turned into a quesadilla and hash. That's so good. That's that's another great thing about like um uh, that's another thing I had to learn while cooking was like being able to reuse like uh leftovers. Um like I managed to make you know a lot of good stuff with that. Um so yeah, super good stuff. Um let me get the glass panes before I like like get forget what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so we get the glass panes. That'll be nice. So we'll put these here. And we'll get the rest of it here. So then we start at lime and then we'll have the rest. I'm gonna have to get like a ladder or something for them to like check out all these buttons. What glass is this? This is a non existent glass that I may end up giving people access to. What even kind of glass this is? Yeah. I don't even know. Alright, I'll put this here. I'll put that there. There, my inventory. It's just black glass. Really? But this is black glass. This right here is black glass. This is black. This is gray, light gray, and then white. So this glass, I don't really... I really don't know how this glass is made. <laughs> So that I'm gonna have to like figure out. Okay, 
now that we have that. Why don't I do it that way? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes more sense. To have it set up like that. Yeah, this right here isn't just black glass. I'm not sure what kind of glass it is. That looks nice. I'm liking the look of this. Um, We don't have leaves. We do have the dyed wools. I don't have the copper blocks yet. That'll be something else. Yeah, to have the oxidized ones like this is like interesting. That's gonna take some time. Alright, let's go into the stairs. Let's get the sandstone stuff. Clear this. Grab this. So that we have smooth. And then let's grab the slabs here. And these ones. Oh wow, there's a variety of slabs here. I'm very surprised. Okay, you couldn't type because you're busy getting home, but did I call your house? What? No, not in the slightest. I'm not sure what you heard, but uh, what I was telling you is that you should go home as quickly as possible. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> Otherwise, you're you're going to get lost is what I was trying to say. Okay, and then we'll have three other slabs there. So we'll put this here, put that there, and put this here. And then that's done. I might space it out a little bit, actually. So let's put it here. That there. Put this here. Put this here. So it's a little spaced out. And then we can have all the copper blocks on the top here. So we'll have this one, this one, this one, this one. And we'll have this one. All these different stages here. Now, we really only need eight of them. So, there we go. You're stuffed? Yeah, I said go home as quickly as possible, but, you know, I don't remember really cussing at all on that point. <laughs> sure, I can protect your build. You don't remember how? Hello, it's good to see, uh, this is, uh, Astrat here. And I recall you being in, being a Floridian. So, there, there is your Floridian fella. They're in the chat. Um, yeah, and there's all the copper blocks right there. Um, I need to add the leaves. I think. Yeah, can I put in leaves in there? I don't know if I, add, I can add the leaves. I will put the leaves with the iron blocks, maybe. Um, anyways, have, uh, have strat. Let me know when you make it to your home, though, so that I can protect your build. Um, because that is an important thing. Yeah, I think this is okay. Actually, I can put this block right here. Just to have the glass right there. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 
not sure about everything. Let's see what else there needs to be. Oh. Uh oh. Did something happen? My inventory ain't working. Um. All right, let me leave really quick. Stream looks fine. Let me rejoin. Hopefully that's it. There you go. That's a bit better. Oh, I forgot about fences. Yeah, fences are going to be important. You're lagging? Okay. That's okay. I happen to be getting a little bit of lag too as well. I wasn't too sure of like what was happening. Get rid of that. I guess we could put the block right there, right? We'll just put it right there. Yeah, I'm not too sure. I think that's about everything. I can really do. Yeah. Yeah, that's about it. Can't really think of anything else. Maybe the moss block. Moose pick. Moose. Uh, maybe right there. Alright, so you got your you're back at your build now. Okay. What am I doing here? Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, dinner. Oh, yeah, this build here you have to be careful with. Because um, it is close by another person's build. Um, so before I can protect this area, you should really ask if the person who built here... Like, if they're okay with you building. <laughs> like, right here. Because I was wondering whose build this was. Um... Now, obviously, it's hard on mobile because you can't see it, but here, there's someone who lives, like, right across the uh, ocean for you. Um, there's also another build over here as well, built by the same person. So, I don't know if they plan on expanding to this island, which they probably are. Um, so, it's best to ask permission first before you can, like set this up as like your property right <laughs> when is the last time they were on uh that's a good question um if i believe their name is uh let's see dark moon dark moon is the builder here um i honestly don't know the last time they were on, but Dark Moon uh, is the builder here. Um, so you're going to have to ask them. Um, ask Dark Moon if you can build here, right? And if they're okay with that. Because, yeah, it looks like they already have, like, a farm here as well. So that's something you're going to have to, like, reconsider. Like, they already built something over here, so I, so I think they're already planning to expand. Um, but yeah. I can't protect this area for you, unless, you know, we talk to Dark Moon. So, I'll go ahead and ping them, just to make sure. 
Um, so let me ask that really quick right now. Okay, so I'm asking Dark Moon, and uh, we'll see what Dark Moon says. All right. Anyways, how's it going, Half Strat? Oh, how's your day going so far? Oh, I'm gonna have myself some cookie dough. So I'm gonna see how this goes. Oh wow, the bar looks really good. Look at that bar. It just looks super good. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we need to do fences. That's what I forgot to do. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to move this over. I'm going to put this up here. And then we'll move these up by one. Do this, and then we'll have the fences underneath there. So we'll do this. Do my name. And then we'll have fences. Where are the fences? Our yeah, fences take quite a bit of time. Not nether fences. I was like, this is way more than I bargained with. <laughs> And then we can put the glass here. And that's okay. And then as for everything else... Yeah, I'm not sure... Okay. Okay, so Dark Moon, he's, uh, 
he read my message, so... He's okay with you building by his plot. We just need to verify whether he's okay with you building in between both of his plots. Because <laughs> I'm not sure what his plan is. Because he, he built a lot. Um... Hmm. Is there anything else really other than the copper blocks? No, we already got that. Leaves, but like, even do leaves. I, I mean, I don't know what to tell you, half strap. <laughs> this is survival. I don't know, are you? Hmm. What exactly did you get yourself into? This peanut butter cookie dough is actually pretty good. I'm actually really happy with this. That's pretty good. Like, very light. Hmm. I'll probably make it, like, grass blocks. Grass and blocks. We'll have those two, but I can't really see anything else. There you go. It's daytime. Don't even worry about it. Hmm. Yeah, I think this is okay. Yeah, I think it's okay for it to be organized like this way. I don't know if there's enough flexibility with this, though. Yeah, what's gonna happen is that I'm gonna like create ladders and then Hmm. Yeah, pretty tough. I have something like this. I give myself a barrier block. Right 
grab this for a stair. And we get a trap door. And have it be like that. Now that's still like out of reach. <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do, Hamstrat. Dude, you're in survival. <laughs> I don't know why you explore in these dangerous situations. <laughs> you have food, but you're scared out of your mind. Well, yeah, that's survival for you, though. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> why do you go into things that you just don't know? Alright, I'll take a look. <laughs> what are you doing? And you can't break anything, can you? Because you're in someone else's protection plot. <laughs> you're ridiculous. You're so ridiculous. So ridiculous. What made you think this was a good idea? <laughs> uh, so what's the lesson that you learn, Hamstrat? So when you're looking to find out what it was, then when you... Then you fell while typing. Now you're in jail. <laughs> I'm surprised you've never seen one of these before, uh, Halfstrat. How long have you been playing Minecraft for? Because I knew immediately what it was. I wasn't sure if you knew what it was. You can't even laugh, you'd do that too much. <laughs> what is up with people? Why do you people do this thing? <laughs> Why do you do this to yourselves? You've been playing for three years and you don't know what that is? I mean, Legend, do you know what that is? Please tell me you know what that is. It, it's very obvious. <laughs> you don't build farms. Oh, okay. But you knew, but you knew it was a farm, though. Even if you don't build farms, you should know that it is a farm. <laughs> yes, you played for almost 12 years. So, yes. Both of you know it's a farm. <laughs> you just don't know what type of farm it is. Yeah, but I mean, it's not too difficult to think about what kind of farm it is. Do you know what? With farms, they can be dangerous. <laughs> you have you have two questions. Is it, is it like a mob farm or is it like a food farm? If it's not a food farm, it's a mob farm. <laughs> And mob farms, how do you kill mobs? Well, with danger, of course. <laughs> Fall damage, lava. <laughs> Killing them with your swords for XP. <laughs> how else do you do it? <laughs> and now you're stuck because it's in someone else's build. <laughs> okay, here. Here's what I'll do, Astrat. If you build in a totally different area, because that's clearly Dark Moon's plot. <laughs> clearly, Dark Moon is using that island, so I think you're building too close to his house. Um, you're gonna have to move your house somewhere else. Okay, Astrat. <laughs> You're gonna sit here and cry. Yes, but here, here's the ultimatum, okay? I'm, I'm giving you an option here. You can get out of there. You're just gonna have to move your build somewhere. Else, okay? <laughs> okay? 
we're gonna have to destroy your old house though, okay? Because clearly you built on someone else's plot. I, I think that much is obvious. Okay, deal. Alright. Alright, so I'll get you out of here, but we gotta destroy your house, okay? And then you gotta move somewhere else that isn't protected. <laughs> well, the thing is, I can't let you do that because it's in someone else's build. Does that make sense? Like, that. Like, literally, you could break out of there if you were in survival mode. But the fact that you're not means you're in someone else's build. So you shouldn't have been able to build here in the first place. Does that make sense? <laughs> okay. You can try, but I don't know if it's going to work. Here, let me TP you out. You don't want to waste the wood? You can get more wood somewhere else. You're... <laughs> I would say that's the least of your worries, Bitterbone. Or half strat. Are you able to break it? Because if you can't break it, I'm breaking it for you, okay? You can't break it, can you? <laughs> Yeah, you built too close to someone else's home, so. Um, the least you can do is take your dogs. Yeah, you can't. There was a recent update that kind of changed command blocks a little bit, but I fixed it, so. So I'm gonna have to break it for you, unfortunately. Okay, so Dark Moon, the builder of this area, he says he doesn't mind you building close by, but you can't build in his plot. Does that make sense? And this is clearly his plot. Um, here, I'll give you a bed, though. Here, you have a bed. <laughs> <laughs> Ridiculous. Anyways, let me know where you build. <laughs> um, it could have been. <laughs> Sounds like you could have been made into a tasty meal, uh, half strat. So. <laughs> Just be lucky that you're not food right now. <laughs> Except for that. That doesn't look too good. <laughs> that doesn't look too good. That doesn't look too good. <laughs> okay, here. Um, what are they called? <laughs> well, you're safe now, so... Best to get out. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know, it's kind of ruthless, but it's survival, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'll give you the bet. But, like, everything else, though, you're gonna have to, like, do it, right? Like, this... 
This was built by someone in survival. Isn't that ridiculous? That this was built by someone in survival. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Anyways, I'll leave it be, though. I'll leave it be. Okay. Let's just hope that half strat has a way. <laughs> nope. That's. Well, that <laughs> that didn't turn out too well, did it? Um. <laughs> They're ridiculous. All right, half strat. Here, let's 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 get you started from over here. <laughs> yeah, clearly you're not having a great day. <laughs> That's survival for you, dude. Here, I'll take you back here, though. At least you'll have a chance to get your items back. <laughs> here, go ahead and go in there. You should be able to get a lot of your equipment back. Um, so, yeah. Hopefully that works out. So there's that. At least you can go there and kind of restart over. But be careful of where you build, okay? Remember, you're playing survival. <laughs> Remember where you're building at and where you're going. Because um, it is survival. You have to remember that. There's a reason I give you all that gear. <laughs> so play it safe. Play safe and, uh, you know... Build a base. Build a safe base, right? Not, <laughs> not close by anybody else's build. If you're unsure if you're by someone else's build, just ask me, okay? Just ask me. I understand you're on mobile, so it's hard to see if there's other other people nearby. But just talk to me, and I'll look. <laughs> you're sad now. That's how survival works. That's an SMP server for you. I don't know how else to explain it to you, half strat. <laughs> That's just how it be. It do be like that, though. I mean, I lost my XP. Remember when I went to save you with a boat? <laughs> yeah, that was some gear I lost. Pretty unfortunate. I was hoping to use those levels to enchant, like, some diamond gear that I had. <laughs> but, you know. I just had to wait it out. Um, let's see. I'll leave it here as this. <laughs> take the West Shuttle. Yeah, go ahead and take the West Shuttle. Should be easier, much clearer. Um... I'll probably have the leaves on top here, then. Guess that makes sense. I guess that's everything, huh? I guess that is everything. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think this will be okay. I think this is what we'll have to work with. Is there an easy way for people to get up there, though? That's the thing. I can't really think of anything. Other than building the ladder, like, straight into here, right into the corners. Yeah, because I can reach that. Oh, actually, you can reach it. Reach all the way up here. The only hard part is like all the way at the top here, so that's something that you won't be able to do. Hmm. I might put the leaves somewhere else then, I guess. Well, and... Am I sure I want to do that? Yeah, there's these copper blocks on top here as well. We can put it here at the bottom here. Yeah, that's what we'll do. Yeah, there's enough room for all of it right here. What in the world is going on there? Yeah, so the very top, we're not going to worry about it. People can't reach it anyways. We'll do it this way. Yeah, this looks good to me. Yeah, I think I like it this way. Trade. You didn't get any food? <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. You get food at the beginning, usually. So here, I'll give you some food. Actually, isn't there food, um... There's food at the spaceport. Did you know that, Abstract? If you go to the spaceport, there's restaurants. You can get food there. Here, let me show you. I understand I have to like babysit a lot, but you know, this is just so you know for future reference. Are you at the spaceport by any chance? Because if you are, you can go into any of these restaurants and then you can ask for food. Here, I want some spaghetti. I want some garlic bread, right? Um, I don't think I gave food here yet. Yeah. Yeah, some of these people give food, so make sure you check that out. Um, this person gives... No, they don't give anything yet. Yeah, these I'm going to have to fix. <laughs> you don't think you fixed them all? No, you haven't. <laughs> Not with that at E incident that you did. <laughs> So yeah, they, they definitely need some uh, items to be replaced. <laughs> okay, you're here. Uh, so go to the Pasta La Vista restaurant and talk to Al Pacino. <laughs> um, Pasta La Vista should be one of the yellow shops.
Hey there, have strat. Here, talk to Al Pacino, and then get yourself some spaghetti or even uh, some garlic bread. Um, I think the third option was supposed to be like a, a lamb shank or something, something like that. Shh, we don't talk about that. <laughs> Legend. It, it's it, it's forever immortalized. Me and Riku will forever remember that moment because <laughs> it's, it's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> because Riku made it into meme form, it's 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 forever on the internet. But we all know. <laughs> There's no hiding it. <laughs> yeah, that's what makes it so funny. <laughs> I love the meme format he did for it. <laughs> He's just like, he has the superhero like sweating of like what two buttons to press. And then it's like, at E! <laughs> oh no, you gotta change your name now. <laughs> infinite bread! Yeah, you get infinite bread, right? Isn't this such a great utopia to have infinite bread? <laughs> oh yeah, that's. That's another thing, Legend. Like, people can get, like, infinite bread here. Like, I mean, I'm gonna have to change it to make it emeralds. Right? You're gonna have to spend emeralds to exchange for that food later. But, honestly, like, yeah. Like, <laughs> that's just how it's gonna be. Um... Okay. Um yeah, I think this is okay. I think we get the general idea. This looks nice, this looks neat. You press a button and it gives you Um Yeah, I need to turn it into a solid block, though. Like, it's gonna have to be like that, and then I'll have to place the, uh, hand blocks behind it. Hmm. Hopefully I can do it in just a single command block. If I can, that's awesome. Yeah, if I can do it that way, then we're set. We are set. You miss your old home? Well, too bad, Hamstrat. You built it in someone else's home plot, though. And that's against the rules. <laughs> so you can't really be doing with that. <laughs> But hopefully your new home will be better, I promise. It'll be better. Uh, cause then you won't be falling into a mob farm and being stuck there and starving. <laughs> and dying, okay? I think that's a better alternative <laughs> than, you know, what you had previously in your previous life. Oh yeah, you can have infinite cookies too, yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and have fun with that. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll leave it as this for right now. I think I'm done with this part. I'm not going to worry about it. I need to figure out what I'm going to do with this. I really have no idea. I think what I want to work on is the pool area. So let's work on this area. Yeah, this will be cool. So we'll have a pool and a jacuzzi, and then we'll have some, like, sports on top, I guess. Is that safe? Because we're in a dome? I mean, surely a tennis ball isn't going to create a crack in this whole thing, right? <laughs> as long as... Now, if it was golfing, that would make sense. 
Hey, <laughs> I'm glad you read the title of the restaurant. Isn't it great? I came up with that one. <laughs> Is I came up with that one, Pathstrat. Aren't you proud? <laughs> Quick, get to the pasta la vista now. <laughs> <laughs> it's great. Buster la vista, baby. <laughs> hey, I don't. Okay. <laughs> yes, there are public restrooms, and that is their purpose. So you know, feel free to use them as you wish, if if that is how you're going to uh, handle it. <laughs> They're ridiculous. Okay, so now we have these elevators. Maybe I'll have the other side be like HVAC stuff. I'll create like a fence. Um that you can't get through unless it's like a gate. Yeah, let's go ahead and fill this in. Put that in there. Should be good. Huzzah! Okay, and I'll put a pool on the other side, so then we'll have air conditioners and whatnot for this side. Is that a nice view? I feel like having a pool on this side wouldn't really work. Yeah, it's probably better to have it on the other side, if that makes sense. Yeah, let's do it that way. Sure thing, have strat. Yeah, we'll have the pool on this side, and then the other side will be the air conditioner stuff. Yeah. I think. I think that's how we're going to do it. I mean, technically, they can have the air conditioner stuff, like, on the sides here, right? People wouldn't know. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's okay. That definitely makes sense. Okay, so I'll get some iron trap doors. Can it really work with iron trap doors? No. Welcome back, Abstract. Um, kind of just like thinking in my head. Um, I'll get some grass blocks after this. See where that goes from. So, give me some grass blocks. This here. We probably don't need it to be the full five. But make it full four. And we'll have a fence here. Um, let's make it a tall fence. Right? Um... I wanna make it diorite. Diorite would be cool. Yeah, like that. Looks pretty good. Only difference is that part right there that kind of makes it a little eh, but 
No worries. That's okay. I can place blocks properly, please. Thank you. Okay, and then we will have azaleas. What they called azalea. We're yelling to get out of your chair. I'll probably have it like this. I'm very confused. <laughs> what are you even talking about, Dinner? For a house strat. Okay, now that we have it that way, we can lower the fence like this. We'll do it this way. Yeah, what am I even seeing? Is this like... Am I watching like a Shakespearean play? <laughs> Unfolding right in, in, in the Minecraft server chat? <laughs> Is this what's happening? No, let's not have it that way. But we're gonna have trapdoor. Yeah, we'll have it that way. I'm so confused. I don't, I... Legend, can you explain this? <laughs> I don't understand people sometimes. <laughs> like, what is going on? Okay, we'll have a door here. But like on this side. Yeah, they definitely give some gear like that, so that's totally fine. But it won't always be like that, just letting you know. Letting you know. I'll put it in the front here. Actually, I'll make it an iron door. Just like If I did it this way. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, go with that way. Like, kind of see. I know. <laughs> Is this what we want to do? I don't want to make it like a normal quartz. Get some normal quartz stairs. Um, maybe polished diorite. See how that works. That is quite a difference. It matches with the fences though, so that I do like. Okay, we'll go with that way. So this side's the pool. This side is HVAC stuff. 
that what we want to do? No, we can keep it separate. I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe we'll make it like a tennis court. Get rid of this layer here. You're just getting cozy. <laughs> well, you can get cozy when you get a home, okay? <laughs> Once you get a home. And that's where it really matters. Um... Now let's have it that way. Have it be some orange window panes. We'll get a sea lantern here. Sea lantern. Is that there? Maybe we'll get a slab here. Yeah, that looks good to me. There you go. Looking fancy. Okay, we'll have like two tennis courts here, and then we'll have a pool with a doozy, and also like maybe a kitty pool. Yeah, that'd be cool. definitely go to the edge around it <clears throat> we have these yeah so we'll make it slabs here what we want to do yeah this is probably our best bet this so we'll add this I guess we'll just add some water or the water buckets Let's make it taller by adding blocks here. What's up, dinner bone? Or half strat? What? Dream is frozen. It says it's excellent. Because it's playing right now. Yeah, 
yeah. It's playing though. It's playing. Um, let's see. Let me go ahead and put some blocks here. Oh, let's make it stairs. Yeah, stairs would be nice. Get some stair blocks. That'd be great. Um, let's actually make it polished diorite. That'd be good. Give it that more nicer pool feel to it. Place that. And then I'll have to add in the water here. Yeah, just replace all of these with the solid block and then go in with the diorite. And that's okay. Do what you can. Now let's get some water here. Wasser. 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 That's actually what it's called. Wasser. Okay. That we have that. Fill this all in. And then break it. Kind of a deep pool. I mean, not super deep, but it's pretty good. Pretty good pool. Like my head's like above water. It's kind of chilling in there. Kind of get out. All right. See you, have strut. You take care. You have a good one. <laughs> All right, have a good day. <laughs> uh, see you, have chat. Take care. Have a good one. Um, yeah, up here we will put the jacuzzi, right? This one will need to be a bit taller. I don't want the water to spill in into here, right? Uh, Actually, we can have it kind of work like this.
But yeah, let's just have this, but taller, right? So then the water can kind of spill into there. There you go. Now the water can kind of spill out from there, and then it'll kind of look like a um, jacuzzi. Be a pretty good jacuzzi. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, that's better. I like that. That actually kind of like spills into the pool. That's usually how it is. You have like a jacuzzi and then they kind of have water kind of spilling into there. So There you go. That looks pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, before I do this, let's actually do this. So let's get myself some bonfires, right? Um, where is Flint and Steel? Um, Ice and... I can't remember what it's called. It's called like, uh... No, I can't remember. Give me the Flint and Steel. What is it called? <laughs> what are you? Or it was like something similar to fire, but I can't recall. What is intelligence? <laughs> I don't know, you tell me, Anthony. What is intelligence? Um, let's see. Here, I'll break these so that it can fill in. Yeah, it's lit. Dick. Lit. So yeah, I was having this conversation earlier, Anthony, of essentially, that's a lot of smoke. That's too much smoke. We use it to mean a number of things, like sapience. Yeah. Um... I think, uh, yeah, one of the issues that I've been running into is, like, when people have, uh, how do you describe it? When people think they're smarter than they are, 
right? <laughs> That's kind of a problem. Yeah, I'll break all of these and just keep one. So I'll do that. So that is probably better. Yeah, that's nice. Look at this. This is pretty nice. I think this is pretty good. What do you mean I'm trying to cook people? It's a hot tub. What do you think it's supposed to be? Hi there, John Lyon. Good to see you. Hello, hello. Welcome to the chat. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, isn't a spa just like soup for people? <laughs> or just a jacuzzi? Hot tubs don't smoke like that? I mean, they bubble. But think, think about it. Think about it. They, because they bubble, that means they're boiling, right? If they're bub, if they're boiling, that probably means, you know, they're getting cooked. <laughs> really? It's been two months. I don't even remember. That's bad logic. <laughs> That's a really hot tub. <laughs> Could to use soul sand to make the bubbles come up? Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. Soul sand is also another option. Um, would it actually work? Here, let me, let me double check. What is it called? Seal and send. There you go. Okay. Okay. So I'll do this. Does it do anything? I don't think it does anything. Here. I'll do this. Does that do anything? It looks boring. I don't like this. Soul sand and kelp. Yeah, but... With, col with kelp, you need it to be on top. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Actually, you're you're right. Wait, I can get the kelp, and then I have to break it, right? Is what how it's gonna have to work. Uh, so once I break it, can I fill it back in again? That is the question. Yeah, let me get sand here first. I forgot how like. So now that we have that, and then I have to replace it with soul sand here. Now I'm floating. Look at me. It, it pushes me up. <laughs> now my ass is just being blown up. That's just that's just how it works. This hot tub. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, water bubbles because it's boiling. It doesn't boil because it's bubbling. There's a name for that. Contradiction. <laughs> I mean, I'm not being super serious anyways. Um. <laughs> okay, so the water is kind of messing up here, so we can't be having this. Yeah, that's no good. Here, that's how we do it. There we go. <laughs> okay, maybe not like that. Oh, whoops. <laughs> now that doesn't fix it either. Oh, I know why. It's because I need to fill this in. Okay, got it. Here, we'll just fill that in. And then we'll give this that. And then we'll do that. Nope, it still wants to fall that way regardless. Well, okay, what do we do? <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. That's great. Alright, so, yeah, we're gonna have to make sure people don't fall off from here, but... Um, should it be, like, iron bars? No, glass. Okay. Glass is super fancy. Oh, no. <laughs> there you go, that's better. Watch when I do this. Oh! Oh, that's pretty cool. I'm cool with that. Okay, so what we need to do, let me get the uh, da, 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 slabs here, put this in here, and then we'll have some stairs leading up to it, um, hold on, mm. actually keep this as it is, keep that, and then we'll have the stairs be like a double staircase. Um, maybe not that. Get rid of the sand here. That there. Uh, not like that. No, that doesn't help either. <laughs> Okay. Eh, I guess. Hmm. I'll replace it with something else. We'll give it like some... I guess we'll give it like wooden stairs. I want to add some like color to it. And we'll do it that way. There you go. Looks nice. And then I will go ahead and add the barrier blocks, and then that should look good. Oh. And we'll have some barrier blocks. Can I even fit in there? No, I can't. Yeah, so I'll put it one block above them, but they can fit me. And they can go here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, that's nice. Pretty luxurious, if you ask me. Looking pretty good. Okay, I'm pretty happy about this. Yeah. This is a nice pool with a hot tub, and then we're gonna have a little kitty pool. It'll be like a little circle. It's like right up to my head here. And then the kitty pool will just like be like this little flat thing. <laughs> okay, so. Now, hold on. Yeah, how do we want to do this? We can go like this. I think that's pretty reasonable for a kitty pool. I think that's okay. And then we'll kind of have it be like stairs in. Yeah, 
Yeah, that looks nice for a kiddie pool. I'm cool with that. That looks nice. All right, give me some Vasa. All right, sick. Kitty pool. Got a full pool. Whee! Um, I should probably have. What do you call it? I have like a little diving board. <laughs> Even though it's not, not really like. Eh, actually, no, a diving board isn't really necessary here. So I'm gonna have to create more barrier blocks here, just so people don't. Jump there. Ugh. Okay, they can jump here, and then they can't. Ugh. Yeah, they can't get up. <laughs> they can give it a shot. But no chance. Um, we can have a bonfire here, though, if people want. This is pretty cool. If you ask me. Kitty pool. Bojo. Alright, this is pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay. I think this is pretty nice for a pool area. I'll have to put in some chairs, some lounging chairs and things like that. But once that's done, it's pretty good. Um, let's have some ports for some of the fancier chairs. And we can have like an iron trap door, I guess. Ah. You know, just have it that way, I guess. That'll, that'll be just fine. Woo! Chillin'. <laughs> Gosh, imagine having a jet stream like this powerful when you like go into the jacuzzi. <laughs> Just launches you. Uh, ridiculous. But yeah, this looks pretty good. Um, I suppose we can add some lights. That's what we want to do. Get some sea lanterns, and that will be fine. And I just add them in the corners here. Or technically, we can add them into the walls, right? Which is actually a lot better. Yeah, add it into the walls here. I wonder if that will still work for lighting. 
Let's check it. And it does. That's pretty cool. I'm actually pretty happy with that. That's cool. This one can just have a light in the middle. Um. Yeah, if we have a light there, that's going to break that thing there. We're going to have the light here. That's not going to break anything. Yeah, cool. Pretty lit. Pretty lit. Actually lit. Okay. Um, I'll add some plants here. I want, like, palm trees. I feel like palm trees would be, like... That would make it super fancy. I mean, this is a pretty nice apartment. I'm not gonna lie. This apartment's actually, like... I would live here. I would like to live here. I would live here. Yeah, imagine that. Yeah, this is a pretty nice view, I'm not gonna lie. This is a really nice view. Okay. Cool. On the other side, I think I was gonna make it into a tennis court, so like, yeah. Um... So one of those things is that we need like a fence. The tall fence. Is it enough for a tennis court? I don't know. Um, so let's get the clay lines, right? Or we can do it in smooth courts. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, let's keep it at seven. Let's see, how does the tennis court look like again? It was something like this. Might be wrong. <laughs> uh, okay. This. Trying to remember if that's how it looked. Let's pull it up. Images. Tennis court. Boy, was I wrong. <laughs> Woo! I was so wrong. <laughs> yeah, let's go with this here. Then I'll get some lime green. Get me. Lime green or dark green? I know sometimes they use blue. Blue for the court as well. Make it some dark green.
Okay, and then let's do this, and then we'll have a line in between here. Okay. We'll replace this. Ease. There you go. Can is cord. Kind of. <laughs> Works for me though. I'm fine with that. Good enough. Um, I could try using kelp. Does that do anything? Oh. Not what I want to do. <laughs> this is where people serve. <laughs> you stand on these slime blocks and then they jump. That's how they do it. Okay, there's that. That little Ted. Right there. Alright, we'll have the net. Uh... And do we want the net to be... Make it like a web, but... I think that's like accurate. If we make it black glass, that would technically work as well. I was thinking cobwebs, but... It's not like a physical thing, though. Because um, you can throw stuff through webs, if that makes sense, right? Um, whereas the net is actually supposed to catch it. Uh, but, I mean, the glass panes do make the most sense, because it is, like, thin. Uh. <laughs> Imagine playing tennis up here. I'm gonna have to create uh, a wall around here. That's for sure. And I'm gonna have to need a ball cage. There we go. The amount of infrastructure needed just for a tennis court. <laughs> Um, how tall did I make it? Four high. Oh. Yeah, that's the highest it's gonna go there then. Grrr. Fences, please. Okay, there we go. This should be pretty good. I can't make it go higher than that. Yeah, 
and then it starts looking a little ridiculous. I don't know. Has anyone ever played tennis? I played a bit of tennis. I enjoyed tennis. Um, I don't know why a tennis court came out for me to make it here. Not sure why. <laughs> Could have been like basketball or anything else, but for some reason tennis kind of just like came out. Hopefully this uh, cage doesn't make it look uh, too weird from the bottom. I've still seen people like launch balls like pretty high into the sky. I think I'll probably have cobwebs above. This looks fine. Eh, that's okay. It's not, not what you expect, but you know. What can you do? We'll put it here. I actually have it above here. It actually works pretty well. Pretty fine. Pretty well. Uh. Okay. Almost there. We'll just fill in the rest here. Just kind of fill that in. Just have it like that. Good me. And then we'll have cobwebs on top. I think that'd be a better solution. What are cobwebs? What are they called? Inning? That's right, spider is... Uh, forgot spider, what's the word for spin? Spinning? Spinning? They have a saying of like, you know, I am a spider or something. <laughs> and I'm trying to remember why they say that. Lots of spider webs. How does it look from underneath here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, it just it looks like a barbed wired fence. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Is that like? prison cell up there <laughs> it looks so nice and colorful down here that up here is just like 
<laughs> this is where we keep inmates. Um. <laughs> okay. And this is okay. This is fine. Last pain, maybe? Nah, nah. I mean, I could, but the issue is that I'm trying to cover the roof, right? And glass pane isn't really... Like, I can make it full glass blocks, but I don't think that makes it feel... How do you describe it? Like, I kind of want it to be similar to a bat cage, if you've ever been in one of those. Um, like, there's just nets everywhere. Um, like, outside the bat cage. So you can't hit the ball outside of it. Um, yeah, but I'm I'm not saying <laughs> I'm not saying this is this is a tennis court legend. What what what, what do you think I'm trying to do here? <laughs> do you want to play baseball here? No. Do you understand the point of the of the nets? <laughs> the nets are to catch balls. Yes, I did say bat cage, but I said, have you ever been in a bat cage? <laughs> that was the question. Yes, have you ever been in a bat cage? Ever. That's the question. Not not saying this is a bat cage. I'm asking if you've been in a bat cage. <laughs> There's a difference, legend. Because <laughs> again, you're making assumptions. Yeah, and it's used for baseball. Yeah, but that's not the point. The point is that I'm talking about the nets. Yeah, and you have a ball in tennis that you can hit outside of the cage. Does that make sense? Legend, you're, you're making this more complicated than it needs to be. <laughs> <laughs> that is so ridiculous. So ridiculous. Okay, so we can make this like three thick, right? And then we'll make that go up here. Okay, this should be good. Okay, this is pretty good. You'll bring your baseball bat up there. I mean, sure, you can. Um... But, like, this is a tennis court. <laughs> okay, and then we'll put this here as the last layer. That looks pretty good. I'm not saying this is a bat cage. I'm just using it as an example. Oh my goodness. Have you ever heard of something called public safety legend? <laughs> We're scientists. We're astronauts for God's sakes. <laughs> At least in this SMP server. <laughs> Be smart. <laughs> Use your brain. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Let's see, I'll have this here. Just to keep it up. What do you mean, know my sports? I do know my sports! This is tennis! And we don't want the ball to go outside. It's that simple. <laughs> That's not 
not a football post. What are you talking about? Gotcha. Okay, so we're gonna have an iron plate. Like And then people can enter from that side and this side. Pretty sick, if you ask me. <laughs> Looks like a football pose. Alright, fine, fine, I'll get rid of it. Not that it was one anyways. Um, let's see, my concern is, let's see, how do we make gravity push this up? Right, and it's... I don't really want to put a pillar in the middle of the, uh, port. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. I, I, why is ch <laughs> Why does Twitch chat always turn into stuff like this? Like, I don't understand. <laughs> Right? It doesn't have to be so ridiculous. I don't understand. <laughs> Can't I just have like a normal like <laughs> understanding, please? It's like wait. <laughs> God. I mean, this, this is probably why I don't talk in Twitch chats a lot. Because <laughs> maybe something happens to my brain where it's just like, okay, I can't think. <laughs> like, what, what, what's going on? What's going on? I don't get it. No, this is Twitch. Nothing is normal here. Uh, call it sports ball. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's just called sports ball. All right, <laughs> that's so ridiculous. Um. Okay. Oh, I got it. I I think I know what can happen. So we can actually do this. I think I've seen this actually before. Yeah, that makes more sense. Yeah, having something like that makes more sense to keep the net up, right? We'll, we'll keep it that way. Okay. Yeah, that looks nice to me. I like that. And then we'll have one over here. It's just tennis with bats and a kicking element. Absolutely absurd. I, I just... Why? What? Why? What? Why? <laughs> why? Make why? Why? Yeah, this looks good. I'd say this looks more appropriate. Oh. Nope. No, this isn't exactly done. Get me some snowballs here. Where it? Pew pew pew. <laughs> Could you imagine if I could make it? Oh! Oh! I know what we can do! I know what we can do! You know how cool this would be? Look, 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 look. I have an idea. I have an idea. Um... <laughs> now it's turning into football. I see. Um... Let's see, where is a... Where is it? Yeah, give me this. Okay, and then 
I don't know. Sure, I'll... Here, I'll just go with, like, one of these. Why not? <laughs> Thunder gets it. <laughs> That's Anthony for you. Definitely got them ideas. Not Kessel. What is it called? Can't remember. Ah, Hebel. That's what it is. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. I need those fire charges. They called. I can't remember where. There ah, are. Where are they? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, Google. Okay, so I get myself a sword, right? And then I have a way to like launch it. <laughs> so if I put a red block here. A redstone block. Does it turn on automatically? It does! Alright, 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 alright. This is gonna be pretty cool. Watch this. It's gonna be pretty cool. Alright, no, no, right there. Um, hmm. Okay, do it like that. Okay, so what we'll do is that we'll place a redstone block, and then we'll make it disappear. And then we can start playing tennis. <laughs> right? Or whatever. I mean, there's... Yeah, if there's, like, a way for someone to, like, hit it back, that'd be cool. Yeah, someone's just gonna have to serve it, though. You're in here. It launches, and then who knows where it goes. <laughs> you just start hitting it back towards each other. Mmm. <laughs> Okay, so I need to remember all the command blocks. Set block. Set block. Okay, yeah, yeah. So we'll do slash set block. So this is going to be pretty cool. So what is the coordinate for this? Okay, let me type this out so I can have this. Negative one four four nine two negative two nine. I need to. Okay, so. Yeah, we'll need some redstone for that. This one will not require. Always be active. About redstone. That block. 
22, negative 29. Right. Cool. So we'll do that, and then we'll do this, and we'll call it air. Right. That's pretty cool. Need this to be conditionally. It does it too fast. <laughs> we need to see if we can put a timer on it. Five. Bro! <laughs> it's fire! <laughs> it's a fire hazard! Okay, let's go. <laughs> Wait, did I hit it? No. No, it's way too fast. <laughs> See, it hits the net. That was a poor serve. That doesn't work either. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it's working. <laughs> it's not working the way that I hoped it would. Let's just fill it up, though. Um, if I add a beacon here, it would probably be just fine. Maybe I have to be in like adventure mode. Try that. Ah! <laughs> I'm on fire! <laughs> I don't know if anyone wants to play this kind of tennis. <laughs> This is a pretty hardcore tennis, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, okay, let me get some carpet here. Let's get that filled in there. Alright, give me some food and then let's see if we can actually get this working. Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Ow. I need some potions. I don't know what potion is, uh... Nope. mood good all right let's get me some healing potions i might put a beacon here oh. 
I don't think there's any reason to, but... Hmm. Okay, where is the healing potions? Wait, if I have it as a splash potion, does that mean I can have it... Yeah. Have it as a full potion here. Fill it with a bunch of these. I think these are the right ones, right? Game mode adventure. Get me one of these. Go with one of these. And for the potions, I'm just going to need a bunch of these. Uh, with the exception that I will also have some. <laughs> that doesn't really work either. Alright. Come at me! I should be able to hit it back. But I don't know if it works. <laughs> I don't think it's working. Oh, yeah, I don't think it works. <laughs> I was hoping it would work. Alright, well, it was a good try. Yeah, I'll fill it up with snowballs, though. Oof. Oof. Yeah, the snowballs don't hurt anyone, fortunately, but... At least they're way more accurate. <laughs> and get a more consistent serve. <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. I actually like that a lot. So in Spleef, we're going to add a shield. <laughs> we're going to add the shield. 
so that you have to actively switch between your shovel and shield. Ooh. Okay, yeah, I do like that idea. I think it's a good idea. So, I'll, for the Spleef game mode, we're going to give people shields, snowballs, and shovels. And so, the shields block snowballs. Um, snowballs counter shovels, but the shovels counter shields. That, that's a good idea. That's cool. Look how nice that looks. Looks so nice. That looks pretty good. Not too bad here. And the iron bars are a bit like they're a bit. Um, but that's okay. Let's add some lighting in here. Um, what do we do? What do we do? The lantern. I like how sea lanterns are like my go-to. Actually, no, let's just go with regular latch. Lanterns here, put them here. There you go. That looks nice. That looks nice. Um. And then we're gonna have this here. Just to add some lighting there. That looks good. I'm cool with that. That looks pretty good. Oof. Alright. Yeah, this looks nice. I'm pretty happy with this. This looks pretty cool. And then we'll have some benches on the back here. Add those, and then we're good. A bench. That's a good question. Make it kind of dark. Uh, they are polished. Let's make them like the brick. They're a bit better. pretty nice I like this I like this a lot <laughs> this looks great oh, wow that snowball like lands directly like right here that goes right across the entire field
There we go. Pretty good to me. I'll have to add some like plants up here. Like palm trees and stuff. Um, that will be super nice. Maybe I can put the palm trees on top here. Uh, and then I'll have some smaller like plants kind of scattered about. Oosh. Yeah, this looks great. I'm pretty happy with it. Pretty happy with this. Mmm. Hey, yo, Grim. Poisson. Ho, 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 ho. Croissants are pretty good. I haven't had a croissant in like a long time. Um. But yeah. Super fluffy. How's it going, Grim? Hope you're doing well. Good to see you. Um. Yeah, so I decided to add the pool area on top of the uh, apartment complex. I think it looks pretty good. And then we also added a tennis court uh, on the other side. That shoots snowballs. <laughs> You're okay? Me? I'm doing alright. I'm doing pretty good, I'd say. Um, yeah. There was like some news keeping me up like last night for for a bit, but like you know I processed it and everything. Um, and so the stream I was mostly talking about just like people who think they're smarter than what they are. <laughs> so you know that changes a lot. That looks nice. Yeah, it looks great. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, it should be fun to just kind of sit in here and just kind of like chill. Um, Looks pretty. There's this little water coming out of the, the hot tub into the pool. So that's kind of like a neat little thing. I'm thinking of adding palm trees on top of these elevators so that there's more uh, fauna going on here. I want it to make it look like a paradise, right? And I'll add some more plants around too. So that, that'll be something. Give me castle. Some castles. We'll put each of those there. Have one in this corner. Other corner, not so much. It's not really necessary. There. And for here, in between those two, I'll probably add it. Nah, nah, let's make it like a table for. Very cozy. But yeah. Uh, hope people like it. Cause that's what I'm looking for. Add some water into these. You go ahead and add some fencing. Oh, and I got one part of the warehouse done, I guess, for the uh, the copper stuff. I'm just like trying to figure out like how it's gonna be. It, this is like the copper materials that you can get. Um. Oh, thank you for the follow, Wizardess. Thank you so much. Hello. How's it going? It's going pretty good. Thank you for asking. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate that. Um. But yeah. Yeah, so hopefully if people contribute the 10,000 blocks of uh, copper those blocks will be uh, enabled and then you can kind of trade emeralds for that. So that that's what I'm hoping for at least. 
Let's get some leaves here. I kind of want... We kind of want to make it like tropical. So like, let's add some tropical fruit here going on here. Oh, they're not green. A little bit green. I wonder if we can make them... Which it calls it. Yeah, let's see if we can add some color to that. Yeah, because these plants aren't, like, ripe. Um, yeah, we'll add the palm tree here. Three palm trees, and then I think from there, there should be plenty of fauna. Um, no, I'm good, Marsha. I appreciate the offer. Um, yeah. Because I'm pretty good with my setup right now, so I'm not too worried. But yeah, thank you for reaching out, though. Pretty good. Pretty cool. Hmm. Okay, so let's see. What do we have here? What should I do for... Think... Actually, I'm not too sure. Hmm. Espy, what are you doing on my desk? What are you doing? You want cuddles? Come here, Espy. Ah. I guess not. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. I don't really got anything else here. I think. I mean, I'll add, I'll add the palm trees later. I think the palm trees will be kind of like sticks, though. Um, I should add a table here. So let's give it like some of these. These like bamboo tables. So oh, that's nice. Yeah, and then we can add this. Yeah, we can have people like that. And then we'll have like two chairs right here. I think. I think we'll have some chairs like that. And then we'll have some benches here, or just a bench. Um, and then we will have this one. It should be pretty good. Except there, next. Yeah, I'd say that's pretty good for me. That is pretty good for me. If we make it like that. Nope. Okay. Well, we'll just leave it like that then. And if I put it here, then it will start connecting to Dang great. Maybe we can have it be like a table like that. Yeah, that's cute. And then I'll add some like plants on some of these. Add some pots. What are they called? I know they're like clay pots. I'm not memorizing anything. <laughs> Blumenthal. Blumen. And we can add some of these flowers. Flowers are always nice. Um, let's see what color flowers. Have some roses, tulips. Have that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I think these ones are good. Oh, let's have a Lily of the Valley, too. Not really in a good direction for this. Yeah, that's better. That there. Let this be purple. Keep these pretty close together. I've been streaming for five hours, Grim! Five hours! Can you believe that? Five hours. What have I been doing? I don't know, Grim. <laughs> you tell me. Do I have a problem or what? I think I'm fine. <laughs> but I am getting hungry, though. I think in, like, another hour I'll probably, like, call it quits. But, like... I'm just trying to see. Five hours building. I do build quite a bit. I do build quite a bit. This looks nice. I think this does look nice. Um, yeah, I'll go and add the palm trees. We could probably like call it there to be honest. Like. Hmm. Should I have jungle trees? I could grow dr jungle trees. I'd have to put the grass in the middle though. Okay, so we'll try doing that. Hopefully it looks okay. Sometimes I wonder if like too much is too much, right? Um, let me add some paintings. Actually, now that I think. A Jamal? 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 Yeah, we don't need it to be that big. Like this. Yeah, that looks good to me. Oh, that's beautiful. And uh, we can keep one like this. That looks great. <laughs> We got some paintings up here. Okay, so the question is... Jungle trees maybe will look good, maybe not. We can see. Yeah, let's give it a try. Um, I don't want these to be tall jungle trees, though. We don't need, like, ridiculously tall trees. That there. Put this here. Some bone meal. I can't even remember. Down here. Uh, there we go. Auction mail. Hmm. It's pretty tall. That's pretty short. And then this one just won't grow. <laughs> oh, there you go. It's a very short one. Look at that. Really tiny itty bitty one to this like skinnier taller one <laughs> Yeah, I don't think it's working though. I don't really Yeah, I think savanna trees are actually better because they curve right I kind of want those curvy trees So we'll build a savanna tree and then we'll replace it with like jungle wood or something so we'll try that, because I want it to curve, right? Hopefully it curves in the right direction, uh, is the thing. That's what I'm hoping for, at least. We'll see. Because, yeah, the these palm trees, like, stick straight up, but, like, they don't really work too well. Hmm, okay, let's try the savanna trees, and then we can see how that works. 
acacia trees. There we go. There, put you there. Okay, this one can't do it. That looks cool. Yeah, these are a little more interesting, right? I do like these. You want palms, so Savannah is better. I mean, when I think of palm trees, they're they're just straight. Savannah trees like curve and bend a lot, you know. Um. Okay, I do like the look of this. This isn't too bad. This is definitely better than the jungle tree. Um, but I think I do want more than this. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to do it myself. <laughs> so let me go ahead and add these leaves. So let me go ahead and break these. So I'm going to go ahead and create my own version of a savanna tree. So let's... The first one looks better. Uh, like the jungle trees? The jungle trees look better? Is what you're saying? Because, yeah, I'll probably replace the logs with the jungle tree, uh, jungle wood. Um, but, 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 um, I do want more of the bit. Of the savannas. Oh, okay. Oh, you meant like this first tree is like pretty good. Oh, okay. Um, I'm okay with it, but I do want more of a bend. You can have something like that. Yeah, we want it to kind of have like some shade. Like, the idea. Basic shade is pretty nice. Um, probably make it like that. Make it that way. So in order to do that, so we're going to have like leaves like this, right, kind of branch out like this. And then we can kind of have it like this. And then up here, then we can have the final branch. You made this place impossible to sneak up on. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean it's like impossible to sneak up on? <laughs> And then we'll have something like that. Yeah, that looks cute. Ah, oh, that looks adorable. Ah, oh, that looks cute. It's so good. We'll have another one, like, right here. And we'll, yeah, we'll just keep it like that. You might have like that. No, that's okay. What you did uh, last hiding behind me? Oh. <laughs> well, yeah. There's, I mean, there's a lot of corners and stuff. It, the the thing is, is that you want to be found. You're you're in a public space, 
right? You're in, you're in, you're in public housing. <laughs> you need to be noticed. If you aren't noticed, that's a problem. <laughs> How are people supposed to get to know you? Um, I think that's a bit much. We'll, we'll kind of cut this off. Yeah. Actually, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll just keep it like this. Keep one right there. Maybe. Yeah, just a little bit like that. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, that's okay. Be like this. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this is what I'm going for. This is a little better. Um, and then I'll have one going sideways here as well. It's a little... It'll be a little much. Uh, but that's kind of... What I'm hoping for. It's like... Okay, we'll go right here. Um... Yeah, we'll go like that. Maybe we'll try something like that? No, let's go like here and then we'll have... One right here. We'll do it like that. And then to balance that out, we can actually make this kind of grow a little bit more. Like this way. So that it doesn't look like it's just like one of those trees. Like it's actually like one of those well-grown trees. It's like trying to do a lot of things. Is that what we want to do? We'll do it like that. Yeah, we'll make it like that. That looks pretty good, I'd say. That looks pretty cool. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. So we're going to add this. Add this little, little top. And we're going to make it branch out. Uh, not a lot. But plenty enough. We'll add that there. Probably get rid of that there. There we go. I think that looks okay. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Probably break that leaf there. Break a leaf there. That. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll have this little bit here. <laughs> I've become a tree builder. That looks nice. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I don't consider myself a tree builder, but... I guess it's kind of working out somewhat, somehow. Um, actually, let's bring it back here. Is that how I want to do it? Yeah, let's grow it back out here. Is that how I want to do it? Maybe. Have it like that. Yeah, hopefully that works. Hopefully that works. Yeah, it looks pretty good down here. 
That's what I'm hoping for. I kind of wanted like a lot of sprawling branches, right? It's kind of kind of make it like a little canopy. So that should be really nice. Um, and then I can add birds and stuff. That'll make it real pretty. <laughs> um, and then here we can add... Yeah, how do we want to do this one? Probably don't need it to be that complex, but... We'll probably have like two branches. Um, so maybe we'll make them like straight and diagonal here. And this one can go diagonal. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. We'll do it that way. Um. We'll have it be like a medium height here. And I guess we'll have it like that. And then we can have it go this way if we want. Um, let's change it this way. There we go. And yeah, that should look good. But it's kind of like three branches. There we go. That looks pretty good. I think I'm happy with that. Okay, so now you need to start growing this out. So let's kind of let it grow wide out here. Hopefully that's okay. That too much. And yeah, maybe we can cut back on there. And yeah, maybe that's okay. Uh... Yeah, we can turn that into like a leaf there. Branch probably doesn't need to be like that far. Maybe? Okay. And then we'll do this. Add this here. a bit weird. Um, I'm not sure how to do this one. A little bit. Because it's at a sharp angle. So I'm going to have to like reduce it here. Maybe there's just no way. You can do it like that. Cut that. So that looks okay. Right here. Yeah, that looks fine. And we'll have this tall one here. Uh, so we'll have three here, another three here. It's probably the most balanced out of all the trees. Right here. Yeah, 
That looks fine. Okay, and then we're going to have a diagonal one right here that's just going to have two branches, and then we're good. You will be good. Good, good, good. And then we'll make this go lower. It's going to be really good. Okay, and then we'll have this go this way. Uh, this way. There you go. Uh, yeah, there you go. That should look good. I think that will be nice. And yeah, we can have this kind of grow tall a little bit. Not that much tall, but a little tall. There you go. Um, and then we can kind of fill it this way, right here. Is that how we want to do it. That looks fine to me. Looks fine to me. This is going to be quite interesting. This is uh, quite a look. Actually, let's make it go like this and I fill it up here. What is my favorite snack? Um, that's a good question. What is my favorite snack? Hmm. Hmm. I don't like snack a lot is the thing. I actually don't have a lot of snacks. But, like, what is my favorite snack? Uh. Oh, by the way, how are the mini bars? I'm still eating the rest of them because I'm not eating all of these all at once, right? Like, I still have a lot of them. Left. Um, but I'm trying out the peanut butter one right now, and it's still pretty good. It's actually really good. The only issue is that if I eat it on stream right now, it's like... <laughs> it gets stuck to your teeth. It's like it's it's good. I like it. 
I just don't want it to get stuck on my teeth. Otherwise, it's, it's kind of awkward talking. <laughs> but aside from that, it's really good. I'm actually really happy. With them. They're really tasty. Highly recommend them. Really good stuff. Um, I don't know how I want to do it. <laughs> but yeah, it's good. If I wasn't like live streaming, I'd probably just like eat this whole thing. Because it's like... Yeah, at that point, it's like, I don't care if things get stuck to my teeth. <laughs> but, you know, it's cookie dough, though. It's good. Um, it gives me warmth. And happiness. It's so good. Um, yeah, let's fill that in. Is that how we want to do it? That there. Yeah, that looks good here. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I think I'm pretty happy with this setup. Yeah, when you look at, at it from underneath, it looks really cool. Um, yeah, I don't think it looks too weird. I'm glad I kind of went with a more organic style. Just kind of just making it myself. It just looks much better. Feels really nice. Feels really nice. Like, you don't need, like, a canopy. Your, your canopy is the tree. That's pretty cool. Um... Uh, let me go ahead and like fill these in. Uh, is this what we want to do? Hopefully. Yeah, that looks fine. I could make it a fence, but yeah, I think that's okay. Yeah, it looks super nice. It looks really nice. I like it a lot. Um, if I want to, I can actually turn it into moss. Do that. Um, so let's turn these into moss blocks. So that it looks more... green. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I like that. This is super nice. Just like swimming underneath the treetops. It's pretty cool. Got yourself a hot tub. And then there's the kiddie pool. And then uh, feel free to play tennis. <laughs> you want to play tennis here? You can still see the trees in here a little bit, but... Yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. Oof. Oof. I tried to see if, um, I forgot what they were called. Yeah, I can't remember what they're called. I tried to see if the fire, fire thingies would work and if I could hit them back, because then it'd become like tennis or like baseball, but <laughs> didn't really work, so pretty sad. Might just have to summon a gas demon and then it could just start shooting at you <laughs> and then you can hit it back. But yeah, this is pretty good. Even from far away, those trees are pretty cool. Yeah, the fireballs. Yeah, I don't know why I forgot their names. It's just like, are they called fireballs? I keep, whenever I think of fireball, I think of the D&D &D spell. And I find it weird to call it an object, <laughs> like, like, like a like a projectile that you like physically have to like throw, as opposed to something that is casted and then manifested. If that makes sense. That looks really cool. Those trees look super nice. How nice those trees look. I stand here, look at those trees from here. That's super cool. Um, how do the trees look if you're like up here, right? Oh, that's pretty. 
That's very pretty. Very pretty indeed. They're super pretty. Alright, I'm gonna put some parrots up here. We need birds. I think uh, not having birds is a problem. What are birds? Birds. Uh. Up again. Is what. There you go. Add some parrots. There you go, you old birdies. You have a place to live. <laughs> there you go. Be happy, you little birds. This is great. Look at them. Look at them. Isn't it cool? It's like raining outside, but then here we are, dry, and just living in nature. All peacefully. Look at this. This is so cute. This is adorable. I love this. I love this so much. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with it. Cool. Um, yeah, it looks great. This is so cool. It looks nice, right? I'm really happy. Um, because I really want this to be, you know, a place to explore and to just like. Um, you know, just just to feel very tranquil, right? Like, feel serenity. You feel at peace, right? This is a utopia we live in, okay? Okay, not 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 the world that we live in today. <laughs> okay, I just want to see like good, happy, precious thing, and then just like being able to keep it intact. <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's nice. Um, I definitely want to add more trees here. I'll, I'll probably add some more trees, like, right here. Some bushes and things like that. Um, and then I definitely want to replace... Oh, well, not replace, but, like, if we can have events hosted here, that'd be cool. I definitely want to turn this into, like, a hosted event. Um, when's the next event? We got January, February is like uh, Valentine's Day. March we have Easter, so or April is more Easter. March is yeah, I can't really think of any. Yeah, this is nice. Very pretty. Very happy about this. Where are the birds going? Where are you flying to? <laughs> Where are you all going? They're, they're just not landing. Oh, that's so cute. Look, it just flew from underneath here. And I just decided to fly up here. <laughs> oh, this is cute. This is adorable. I love this. I love birds. I love birds so much. Look at them. Are they following me? Please tell me they're not following me. Okay, thank goodness. <laughs> they are free. I'm very happy about that. That's cute. It's very cute. I'm very happy. I'm very happy. This is, this is a happy. Very happy. Okay. So, yeah. Pretty cool. I got some lighting in the pool, too. Like, this little... These little light fixtures here are, like, in the wall. So that's always pretty neat. Uh, let's see. Do I need a barbecue pit or anything? Uh, I was thinking of putting a bonfire. I remember that. But I don't think there's, like, anything that I can really think of that really, like, needs it. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I like how there's cows and chickens up here. I know- I, I remember there was a pig up here, but... 
<laughs> I just like how they spawn up here. It's like, oh, okay. Um, I'm trying to remember, should I put, oh, I can actually make this like entire floor grass. Like if every floor is like that, I could turn it into grass. I should just turn it into grass. Um, just to make it grass on each floor is actually really nice. Yeah, so I'll do that. It's it's a lot more of a organic place, right? Like a lot more greenery, a lot more trees. Over here is a little bit more industrial, but the side is more of a living space and more like green. Um, so this building, I'm probably going to change it into something else. I might turn it into like a vertical farm or something. Um, yeah, probably a vertical farm. I'll probably do that. What's outside the domes? Like out here? So we have a spaceport over there. Uh, like it's just like desolate Mars, right? It's just like, um, I mean, we'll add like a bunch of like renewable energy sources and like other stuff, like like dehumidifiers and things like that. Um, but yeah, is this what you mean for your question, or or do you mean something specific, like? Like, there's not really anything outside the domes other than just, like, a bunch of red sand. <laughs> um, here's the cryo chambers, right? This is where people kind of wake up from. Because uh, they were in a deep sleep. Is it Mars or just that area? Oh, yeah, yeah. This is... I'd say... I mean, the thing is, the entire world isn't like this, right? Uh, but, like, I I got most of the perimeter of this area like this. Because, um, yeah, uh, I, I can't get the whole world like this, otherwise that's too much work. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'd say it's mostly this area, but it's a large area. It's It's large enough to where you think it's the entire area, right? Like, no matter where you look, it's just orange. It's just deep orange. Um, but I do plan on expanding it, right? Uh, over here is like a military dome I plan on building. That's crazy. <laughs> it's a lot of work, right? Um, but yeah, this is a military dome. So this is where people are going to... We're going to have like all kinds of tanks and weapons in here and stuff. Or at least that's the idea. That's why it's in an iron dome right now. Cause nobody can look inside it. <laughs> Otherwise, that'd be kind of hazardous if people can just kind of jump in. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a space elevator here, which is pretty cool. It'll be an SMP, all right. <laughs> yeah, it'll be survival, that's for sure. Um, I'll probably have some events, right? Like, it's like, oh, we got like a zombie infestation in the spawn area, right? So it's like, okay, you gotta, like, find these key scientists and, like, rescue them and find a cure <laughs> to get rid of these zombies. So I think that would be pretty cool, right? <laughs> um, could you imagine? <laughs> the the possibilities would be so cool. Um, but, you know, this is all, like... You know, it's all a start, right? We, we gotta start from somewhere. The server is barely, like six seven months old now probably pushing towards eight now seven eight you're down for that idea right right i think these are a lot of cool ideas that i you know that i really want to make come to life um so you know it takes a lot of work building all this uh and all the ideas I'm also making mini games too. That's going to take time, right? The spaceport has a lot of the mini games, right? So the mini games are over there. Over here is where people go to the trade center to buy blocks. 
and there's the portal there so people can go to their own uh protected zone stuff like that so like i i kind of want this to be the hub area right i really want this to be the place where people can really see a lot of activity like just hang out um but yeah yeah definitely trying to put in a lot of heart and soul into this that's for sure hopefully there's like a lot of tiny little things that people appreciate like this little office this is the uh, Riku's office right here. He hasn't decorated it yet, but that's fine because he never comes into the office anyways. <laughs> he uh he works from home. That's that's how he that's how he does his work. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, this should be pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Um, I'm hoping I can add like RPG elements too. That'd be cool. Um, I might have. I wonder if there's a way that I can make like classes. If I can make a class system, that'd be super dope. Um, and then I can make that like one of the game modes that people can play. So that would be super cool. Um, we'll see though. We'll give it a try. Oh yeah, we have this down here. We're gonna have like a bike garage and then, you know, more stuff underneath the entire dome as well. There's gonna be an entire sector underneath the dome. I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, to be honest. I haven't really thought that far. <laughs> right now, I'm just trying to make the city, like, look good from here. And then once that's done, move into other stuff. The only class systems you've seen are just limited with what you can do instead of making it so you can do new things. Yeah, exactly. Um, so with the recent update, the command blocks are a lot more robust now. Like, you can actually do programming with the command blocks. And me being a programmer, I'm hoping I can actually, like do stuff with that right like i can add explosions and add some cool abilities right to like certain objects and things like that um like i can specify certain things from that hopefully but we'll see though well, i'll have to test it out and see what happens it's like for right now i don't know i don't know but for for all i know i'm just like imagining things you know, it's a possibility, though, because they, they definitely revamped the uh, command blocks a lot, which is why I'm excited to try out the mini games first, right? Just practice with mini games, get those working. And then once I have those done and ready, then I should have enough experience to then create a class system, which would be dope, uh, especially for an SMP. That'd be cool. Um, but we'll see. See about it. We will see. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do with this back part. Yeah, I have like a bunch of these tiny buildings, but I don't even know what they do. Yeah, I should like probably put this in half here. Make it like two buildings, like three buildings. Um, I'll probably have them as, like, mixed residential and car. Probably what I'll do here. But I'll need to get the rest of this warehouse done. And get, like, command blocks ready. Um, I need to create the scoreboard, actually, so that I can get people to donate uh, the various blocks required for this. But yeah, the trade center, we'll get that done. I should probably put a sign here. Go and do that. Uh, she... Um, okay, what should I do? Go with this one. We'll go with this sign here. Is that the sign that I want?
Mm. If I wanted that hide. Grade center. I don't know if people can even read that. <laughs> Let's not use this sign. Get more. Uh, that's probably too dark. Try that. Grade center. Yeah, that's not too bad. I guess that's okay. Grade center. Yeah, we'll do it that way. Anyways. Yeah, I'm pretty ambitious about this. I'm hoping mobile players are also able to enjoy this, because I know there are people who play on their phones exclusively. Because um, computers are expensive for some people, man. <laughs> Especially with how expensive graphics cards are. Just like, nah, we, we gotta make this... We gotta make this for phones, dude. <laughs> I mean, as powerful as mods are... Uh, some people just don't have the hardware. Uh. So, I feel like this just makes more sense. Plus, imagine playing this, like, anywhere, right? Just playing on your phone, your Switch. Like, you could just play this on the go. That'd be really cool. You could just jump onto the server anytime you'd like. That'd be super nice. <laughs> Why do we have cats here? I forgot. Why do we have cats here? I mean, I remember why. It's just... Alright, come on. Get, get out. Get out, you cats. You're free. <laughs> How much is a start card these days? That's a good question, honestly. Um... Yes, I do remember it was CC. I mean, I let CC go, and then she went back in there. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> um. Anyways, how much is a starter card? That's a good question. Um. Because I mean, technically, you can buy an integrated graphics card, right? And people can play on that. But, like, you know, if you wanted to play modded Minecraft, you're going to need better hardware than that, is the thing. Um, like, integrated graphics cards, you can play, like, Bedrock, no problem. And, that, like, that's fine. That's cool. But for anything else, though, it's like, if you're going to try to mod, it's not going to work. You can run pretty much anything with 6 gigabytes of VRAM. Yeah. Uh, I'd be surprised for any modern title. Like, you would have to put it on lower resolution, right? For the AAA games that are coming out now. They, they need tons of VRAM, right? Um, that's why people were so mad with NVIDIA when they released, like, a 12 gigabyte version of the 4080. <laughs> it's just like, that's just a 4070. Um, so like, yeah, they, they were pretty mad with that. When there was a 16 gig and then a 12 gig version of the 4080, it was just like, yeah, whatever. Um, but yeah, but in terms of Minecraft, you don't really need a lot. Yeah, but the modern COD requires, yeah, huge hard drives that you got to pay up anyways. Yeah, that sucks. I haven't played any CODs, like, in recent, recently. Like, I think the most recent was, like, Black Ops. Was it 3? I don't remember. Um, but, like, it was only a short while, right? I didn't really play it that long. It was just only, like, with a few friends with, like, zombies, and then that's it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's really what you really play it for, is for the zombies. Um, but everything else, though, is just it's too expensive. Like, ridiculous. Um, besides, I think uh, I plan on getting a new phone, too, anyways. And so if I could play on the server while I'm on my new phone, that would be pretty cool. 
When you were trying to find out how to increase your Sims FPS, you realized your little i5 was a bottleneck. Oh, was it like a four core CPU? It sounds like it. Uh, I think i5, or was it, or was that the old version of i5 where it's like a two core? I don't remember. I remember my have having an i7 and that had a four core. But I don't remember if i5s also had, uh, like, they were like pretty weak four cores. You don't remember, but your original PC was built with $750. Dang. Imagine trying to build a $750 PC today. <laughs> You're definitely buying an APU at that point. Yeah, it's just not going to work out. No way. Not only that, like graphics cards these days require so much power. Same with the CPU. You need a huge power supply. Some components got cheaper over time, but the important ones skyrocketed. Exactly. Um, those are like pretty big deals. Like cases have stayed relatively the same, right? Like cases are pretty inexpensive. Um, and then power supplies, they're about the same as well, but you need a bigger power supply for the larger hardware. All that 3060s went down recently, but you don't think your PSU can handle it? Yikes. Yeah, that's a big problem. It's just like, yeah, you, you need to start upgrading everything now. It's just like, it's, it's honestly, it's honestly, uh, like... We can't get more gamers, <laughs> right? We're, 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 we're losing gamers, right? Like, <laughs> it's starting to become a very, like, restricted niche market, right? Uh, it's hardly the same PC. Yeah. It just isn't the same. Uh, it used to be, like, a hallmark, right? Like, like, every gamer would end up getting a PC at some point. But now it's starting to become this sort of, uh, you know, it's sort of becoming gated now with all these uh, costs and how expensive it is. Like, I'm not surprised. Like, people are now just starting to go with phones, right, for gaming now. Like, like that's what they do. Um, I mean, there's some pretty games, pretty big games on phones nowadays. Um. For example, um, like Genshin Impact. Like, I know so many people who play Genshin Impact, and it's on their phone. Um, granted, you can play it on PC too, but like, I just haven't. If Theseus replaces each part of this ship over time, is it the same ship? Uh, I wouldn't say so, personally. I personally don't think it's I think it's a totally different. <laughs> but I mean, it depends on like how much you change, right? Like, do you change the whole thing, like including all the nails and bolts and stuff? Like, if if that's what you do, like, um. But you know, the same could be said with our bodies, right? Because we're constantly shedding skin, right? What if he disassembles it? rebuilds it somewhere else isn't that similar to like the idea of teleportation right um like imagine like you go through a teleporter and then all your cells right all your particles are just like destroyed and then you know rebuilt somewhere else right like is that the same <laughs> um so if he disassembles it and rebuilds it somewhere else, it's like... The real question is, what is Theseus' ship? What is it? <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's a long-lived debate, that's for sure. It's not going away anytime soon. But, you know, it's always some interesting, thought-provoking question. 
Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. You can just end up getting stuck. Because <laughs> you'll keep thinking and thinking and then it won't really... There might be some like lines of thought, but like they end somewhere. <laughs> and then they will never answer your question completely. Um, I mean, there's only a few of them where it's like complete certainty, but only if certain prerequisites are met. <laughs> like, if this is the case, then it's definitely this. <laughs> but that's only if. And we don't know if, 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 if that if is... If that condition is, like, fulfilled. Okay, yeah, this looks pretty. This looks super nice. I'm very happy. Looks pretty good. Yeah, this is the more natural part. This is a little bit more... More of your typical city. Here is the warehouse and bank area. More of your industrial... Is it industrial? No. What did I call it? Yeah, I'm not sure. I'll add something here. Because uh, this is like a workplace. These two are like work buildings, so this one right here is going to be more of a leisure type of building here. So we'll make this like a sort of structure. This one I'm going to have to figure out what this is. Um, we got some shops underneath here. We'll have some more shops down here. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this building. Probably turn it into another office space. Right? Uh, we'll have some mixed residential and commercial here. And in the back here, we can have some commercial, probably. Yeah, we'll probably do it that way, I guess. I suppose. Oh! Yeah. Anyways, I'm getting pretty hungry. I think I'm, like, pretty good here. I think this is a pretty good stop. We got a lot done. Got plenty going on. Uh... Yeah, this looks pretty filled. Hopefully we can start decorating more of the interior stuff. But we'll see. I want to start mini games, but we need to build the arena. But we'll figure that out later. Oh, uh, anyways. I, pre I appreciate all this time, everyone. Thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate it and enjoyed it. Hope everyone else enjoyed it as well. Had a lot of interesting moments. Um, but yeah, tomorrow I'll be doing some more Minecraft. And then hopefully Sunday. I keep my fingers crossed for that one. I definitely want Sunday to have a D&D &D night. <laughs> it has to happen. We need it to happen. Like, for sure. Because I miss D&D &D so much. <laughs> I haven't played... For like over like a month and a half. It's like, I, I need my fix. <laughs> Give me my D and D fix, please. Um, cause yeah, I want to play my gnome wizard. It's so sick playing uh, an illusionist, cause uh, you know, I, I have all the AOE spells that are so good at against saves. That's so great. Um, but anyways. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens Sunday, but tomorrow I'll be playing some Minecraft as well. So hopefully we can continue building. Um, I think I want to make the leisure building here and like kind of set that up. Uh, but yeah, we'll see from there. But anyways, yeah, y'all have a wonderful time, everyone. Um, we'll see if I could raid someone. Let me check real quick. Who is around? got a few people. 
streaming what? There. We got Pokemon. Not sure what this game is. It looks like... Is that a trading card game? It looks like a trading card game. Let's see, we got Fall Guys going on. I don't know. We could do Pokemon though. I'm fine with doing Pokemon. I don't know. Hopefully you're all cool with Pokemon. <laughs> um, but yeah. I appreciate it everyone. We're going to go and raid uh, Suyamon. So we'll see how they are. Um, but yeah, y'all take care now. Oh, peace. Have a good one.